Why the why the no video, by the way? Just I want to make the size of the whole thing smaller, and I want to eventually move to podcasts because uh, okay. um, I want this to be theater of the theater of the mind stuff. So anyone listening can easily yep. see it, and they don't, you know, if they just want to listen, they can sort of imagine what we're doing if we describe it well. <laughs> yeah, give away the All whole right. freaking map. Oh, I don't mind. Well, that. we can be more descriptive. That. Yep. Um. Yep. So. Uh, you find yourself, as of the end of the last round of the last combat, in what probably was the kitchen, or at least that's what it was used for, as they had strung up some unlucky, lucky person um, above a fire and were slowly um, either practicing strokes of slashes to cut into pieces, or they were trying to tenderize the meat, or who knows what they were doing, those that evil orc. But, however, you managed to overcome the orc and overcome two goblins. What they were doing there, you're not quite sure. Um, with the orc, that is, I mean. Um, however, uh, that brings your total, I believe, to um, five, five goblins, one bugbear, one orc, and one wolf. And a wolf. Yep. Um, you know, uh, as you stated before, uh, Matt, you know, or Neri, um, you know that there are uh, at least a couple more goblins and something called Rutgut around here. At the very least. Yeah. Yep. So you definitely know that. You also know, um, let's not forget, that the long passage that was left a long time ago, that went that wide long passage, led to the edge of a river, an underground river. Uh -huh. um, so at the moment you're looking at two potential entry or exit points. Um, although the river, you'd probably, you're not sure about that one because you didn't see a boat there. Um, and you're not sure whether that is going to be a totally navigable river or you might lose, like, you know, you might lose the um, height of the ceiling and have to go underwater or not, you're not sure. Um, mm. But what you saw, that part was clear and you couldn't really tell the depth of the water. But uh -huh. if needs must, it's another exit point. Uh -huh. um, roughly in the middle of all this mess, you sort of uh, located what you believe to be some kind of treasure room, or at least that's how it's referred to by your two little goblin friends, who have seen you now overwhelm several large creatures. Um, it would be highly unlikely at this point that they're going to turn on you as long as you keep to the conditions of your agreement. Um, yep. You, you can, I mean, yes, there's always a chance that they might turn on you if, if something really bad goes against you, but um, if that doesn't happen, you're probably looking at some very loyal little goblins right now. Uh -huh. I offer them some of the beans that we're eating. Oh, well, they'll tuck in quite happily. I now, have a few questions for them. Yep, I just want to, sorry, just before you do that, I just need us to go yep. through our um, roster of resources. So, um, Klim has yet to use his spell for the day, and I believe he has one more charge in his wand to use. Awesome. Uh -huh. Where are you up to with your spells? Mm. Oh, oh, zip! Zero! Nada! Fucking nothing! Okay, Marava? I have three entangles. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, so, you know where your spell capabilities are. Um, you have got all your weapons, all your armor, um, except for Lucky, who's sort of... Um, we'll need to... I think he's got his two daggers. Um, mm. I don't think he bought any armor, I'm not sure, um, but I know he's at least got two daggers, because um, he's used those in that last fight. So that's where you find yourself, yep. um, so you've had a wee rest, you've sort of licked your wounds a little bit, um, and are deciding what your next steps are. Uh, Actually, by the way, HP the goblins as well. Are... Jump, 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 what jump. what have we got in terms of HP? Up to you guys. Um, uh, I know I was back up to full. Yeah, I'm I, perfectly healthy. Death's I door. Believe Lucky um, is pretty healthy. He may have taken a point of damage, but 
Mm, I think he ran around the table most of the time and avoided yeah. damage, didn't he? Yeah, but I'm not sure. I believe if if he did take damage, it would be very little. Yeah. How was how was our fight to Nuri doing? I think I'm. I think someone cast a a spell mm -hmm. on me and brought me back up to full. Yep, and Clem, you yep. are at full. You haven't taken any further damage. What about that one D, uh, the uh, one damage yeah, you took so from the arrow four or is... sliver of metal? Yeah, that it... was only temporary because yeah. it was healed by Marava using a what was it a something uh, to steep the poison out. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alrighty, and it's, so it's but awesome. But he was quite high death. for a while. Mm -hmm. It's me on one hit point. Orson's on, Orson's on one hit I point. Yeah, I'm, right. yeah, I'm back up to my. I'm back up to my maximum of four or something. I believe so, Ron. I believe so. So, also, okay. your priest, uh, bereft of spells, however, capable of walking. Mm hmm. And, um. An amazing look. speed that he achieves anyway. Mm hmm. <laughs> huh. And what utility would your three entangles potentially be able to, you know, like. How would you be able to use them in this dungeon? Like, how would it go down if you went to use them? Because it's got a massive area of effect, correct? Are you able to lower the area of effect or target it in a way that it'll only affect, say, half the room and not where we're standing? I wouldn't have a clue, actually. I, I don't think you can. <laughs> Not normally, um, although if you think if you read Entangle, it's selective. I don't think it can. Uh, I think you can have it so that it doesn't hit friendlies. Can you? I don't know. You'd have to read it. I can't remember first edition's Entangle. I know yeah. third edition you can. That's something we definitely need to know. I'm just looking it up now. Yeah. Uh, in saying that, though, you know, if we know where we are and where we're using it, e.g., we're setting a trap, they would be very powerful. Wait, that's not yeah. first edition. Because I was thinking, if we're not going to go to a full rest, we could take up positions outside of Rutmart's door and wait for him to notice that there's been no, you know, hopefully the goblins come out to change shifts or someone and we can take them down quickly. And then maybe Rutmart will come out sort of wondering what the hell is going on and we can set some kind of trap for him with the entangles and then just sort of take him down mm -hmm. well, and well, in terms of the questions I, I have to ask the goblins I would well, just to answer like... your thing on fairy, um, not fairy fire, sorry on entangle, on entangle. it doesn't um, specify no, we can go up to a, a diameter of 4 inches, so remember 4 inches is 40 feet inside, that's a diameter at a range of 80 feet inside and it lasts for 10 minutes but it will take you three segments so three points off when you roll a d6 three 40 feet so that's okay. diameter 40 feet squared a diameter okay mm -hmm. so that's that's actually not that big depending on how big the chamber is that rut might's in because well, what four, four squares, squares is 40 feet if, Four if, squares and I know is 40 we're not feet, using right. the visuals, but if you see the squares on the map, each one of those squares is five feet. Yep. Okay. So eighty of eight of the eighty, eight of those. So the corridors we've been going down are ten feet wide. Mm -hmm. For anyone listening, most of them have been ten feet wide. Mm -hmm. Some have been five feet. feet. Round about, ranging from around about fifteen to I think around about eighteen feet high. Yep. Cavernous kind of structure yeah, well Cavern it is Cavernous. um mill it's um worked stone oh okay so it's yeah. hewn stone you've got to remember yeah, the support. floor the ceiling yeah the floor is uh tiled and it is broken through with very various roots and things okay yep so it's being constructed yep not you know somewhat and quite, a, quite a period ago how yeah. green are those roots are they fairly dry or I guess you'll find um, very hard to tell with roots, isn't it? Sorry. Very hard to tell yeah. with roots, unless, unless you're talking about service roots. Tell how shriveled they are compared to how. Oh, Marava might be able to tell us, really. 
Yes, if I'm I, back in mind. Are they, are they, do they contain moisture in them or are they dry? They look like they could be usable if you're thinking about a spell. Yeah. Well, okay. as I see it, we've got two options. One, we use our two goblins to try and lure, you know, rat mutt, our rat gut, sorry, um, rat gut, gut. towards us uh, in an attempt to set a trap that we basically then catch him in an entangle. Um, I think Rutmut will come towards us anyway, eventually. And, the um, point is, is that I'd rather know when he's coming. Okay, but so, we could we could wait for I'd the like know, change of like goblin bringing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, though, is if we wait, there's likely to be a change of goblin shifts, in which case two goblins will likely come wandering out. We could take them down first thus culling the number, and yeah. that would likely be enough to alert Rutgut, so then we'd know that he's coming after yeah. that. But we've um, already taken out two of his henchmen I in that draw... circumstance. Run. I could always use, uh, use my ventriloquist and um, uh -huh. lure him out that way. Uh -huh. or, or we could just have the goblin shout ambush or something like that. Exactly, I was um, thinking to myself. Throw we oil on the floor outside the door, cast and tangle when they come out, and light <laughs> and everything on fire. The, burn the fuckers <laughs> to the ground. That was my plan, thank you, Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, is not getting our goblins caught in the confusion. Yep. It, yeah, well, I'm down for either or. I'd like to ask the goblins a couple of things. Firstly, I want to ask, is Rutgut like uh, Bongo? So is, is Rutgut... Like you, one of them looks really odd at you. What do you mean? Like... He big and hairy? Is he bigger you, and hairier? You, he... you, Goblin, me, Elf, Bongo, big hairy thing. Is Rutgut also big hairy thing? Mm, he's pretty big hairy thing. Yeah, bigger hairy thing. Bigger hairy thing. Same size hairy thing. Same size hairy thing. Like, <laughs> like I do like a whole like like <laughs> me this tall, you that tall. Oh, I'm Bongo. Insane. I'm not taller than you. Rut rut tall. Rut, what rut, about Bongo? Rut rut taller than Bongo. Rut rut. No, not as tall as Bongo. So okay. Like he's a hobgoblin or something. Something a little bit more intelligent. Mm. What about mm. wide? Let's where where is Rutma? What, what about what, sorry, um, Clem? Let's find out how wide he is. If he's <laughs> like four of us wide, that's not going to be good either. Uh, the goblin sort of stretches out his arms. He, he walks over to the dead orc, puts his um, so he gets about the same width and he comes over to you. About that wide. <laughs> okay. Right. So, so yeah, we're likely looking at a hobgoblin. Maybe. Hobgoblin or orc. Right. Yeah. But he's hairy, so how, how hairy are orcs? They can be hairy. They can be hairy, okay. They're certainly not bugbear They can be hairy. bald. They can be. Depends mm. on what their clan wants. Yeah. Their practices. Alrighty. Okay, well, I mean, it's up to you guys. I'm putting it out to you. We could we could lay in wait and take out the henchmen first, and then right well, gut will. Then we can ask the guard right gut out. Often, they swap places with other guards. At their yep, door. good point. Uh, how often do you change places with other other you other goblins at the door? Treasure mm. door at the door. Mm -hmm. Uh, we wait until we're told to go get food and sleep and then get up and come back. Uh, okay. Do oh. people come to replace you? When you go when you go sleep and eat, other goblin come? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And where do they go where do they come from? Um well he looks over at two of the dead goblins and says That's some of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, all right. Makes sense. Alrighty, so what do you guys want to do? You guys want to take on all the henchmen? Um, so, at the same time? Up. 
or you want to would probably maybe be where do you guys usually eat in the kitchen, or they have like well, a this is this, this is the kitchen, so assuming that they eat here. Oh, so they wouldn't have like a mess right there, a layer. Well, we can nah. ask them, but I'm presuming that the answer will be right here. It's just just where there are about to And how many were there in total? There's only two left, presumably, <laughs> as long as they were telling the truth. Yeah, two goblins left, but mm -hmm. there could be other. Okay, so I asked them, is there any? Other, uh, other ones like Bongo To be honest, around. I'm sort of with Lincoln's plan on this one. We use our goblin, bring... Um, the, right, the, yeah. the goblin that you sort told of... him to shakes his head. No one else like Bongo. No more. No one else like Bongo. Alright. So we're looking at likely two goblins and a hobgoblin. Alright, well if you guys want to take them all down simultaneously, then... You know, yeah, but catch, I mean... If we want to like, one. catch a breather... Well, depending, you know, who knows how long... chance to get a breather, I would say. Yeah, I know, but I mean, we can sit and rest for a while. It's it just it'd be the safer option to take out the two goblins before we call in Rutmart. But it's up to you guys if you want to just do it all at once. We can do it all at once. The only thing is, is we need to. I mean, we actually don't really need to take out Rutmart. We just need to fucking find the girl. He'll be guarding the girl oh, most likely, probably raping her as we speak. But it's very dark there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the elf was automatically on the basement. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I think we use our gobos to basically go try and alert the rest of them, and try and and we tell them that they've got to come as one big group. We floor the oil around here, and as they come around, hang on, need to measure that. Why not here? Uh, uh, are they coming from down here? Are they? That's the most likely. We want them to be coming from down there, so we'll get the gobos to. I make believe it was here that was back this right way. Much room. Was it not here that was no, right much further okay. down this way? So. Uh, I have, sorry, as well. Sorry, Lucky's just. I have a question. Has anyone mm. checked if these goblins know how to speak common? We know. What? Sorry? Did, did we know? Because I wasn't here for the sessions. Do these goblins understand any common? They barely understand goblin. Alright, alright. Yeah, we're and, translating. And um, Nuri is actually speaking goblin to them. Yeah. No, my, my issue more was <coughs> overhearing our entire plan and being able to relay any of that back. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're all tied up and tied to us. Yeah, they've been with us through most of it. We caught them in the beginning. Like, this plan we're discussing out of game is our characters chatting in game, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll gag them. We'll gag them after they yell ambush and tie them up so they can't interfere with the fight. Um, can we just yell ambush in goblin? <laughs> the problem is, is that our word ambush from goblin either comes from uh, a deeper voiced humans or a very elvish female. Mm. Mm. So it's better if it comes from the squeaky ones. Yep. And I mean, they've, as, as we've said, they've seen us beat down, you know, Bongo, the big wolf, and this orc. You know, with no casualties suffered yet. Yeah, yeah. No, like, no. they can see we've got magic. They can see we've got things. To them, we're pretty much gods at this point. Almost. They're unlikely to betray us, but... yeah. Plus, we you gave them know. extra food. Plus, it's you know, we've, made them, we've made them assurances that we're actually sticking to. We're not beating them around the side of the head like probably rut and mutt. Yeah, I'm just not, not sure... Not, winning them through fear yeah i'm just not sure what's what's wrong with just waiting for the change of shifts and shooting the two henchmen as they come out and then that's likely to draw rut mutt out anyway because they're gonna scream as we shoot them dead uh, are we gonna um, be waiting 10 minutes or are we gonna be waiting three hours who knows but what's three hours like being alert so, and waiting we, for someone, that mm. length of time is kind of hard. We do it every night on watch, but... Yeah, so, if you... Well, it's up to you guys. We can we can just burn it all down in a... Yeah, I'd say we set the oil sort of here. we know the girl's not here, right? We know that the girl's not in the treasure room as far as... 
you know, the goblins knew. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah. if we've got the target of the entangle is at the back of the room, it's a 40 foot diameter, which means 20 feet up the hall. I so say lace planted here ish. Yeah. If that's, we and that's actually the... reaching out the same diameter, basically, is what it would be. If we lace the oil just inside this section here, so you're talking about they, just past the intersection if, of the two just corridors. just just around the corner, mm -hmm. so that if they run around it, they're basically going to be standing straight. What if he goes up here? Why would he? If the goblins are he, standing, he could here. though, he yeah. could though. So why not just set it here? Problem is, is that as he runs up this corridor, what's he going to see on the floor? We want the goblins to be yelling intruders in the treasure room. Yeah. It's right round that corner. Well, if he's going to stop for a bit of oil on the floor, then we just shoot him. It's up to you. Why don't we just... I don't see what the problem of using a bit of magic to make our lives a bit easier. And then if that fails, we can always start shooting the guy. And that's why I say, if yeah. we put the oil down here, he presses it, we entangle him in it, and then we burn him to the ground. Alrighty. And we've I'm got... just trying to leave as little potential holes in the plan as possible. Yeah. But yeah, okay, put it around here. So you're saying, and yeah, from the wide corridor, Intrigue. put it around to the right. Yeah, put it around. Yeah, put to it the around, right. Put it around here. That's the goblins will be yelling. A bunch of fire between us and our exit. Well, no, because this is our exit here. Your exit In goes up the um, other end of the yeah. intersecting um, corridor. But here's hoping that if we've got the goblins yelling, you know, um, intruder in the treasure intruder room. in the treasure room from here, and then run back to us here, you know, they should take this path. You know, we can also, if you want, yep. put some here and be ready on this corner. That way we've got both. Well, both the only other path they're likely to take is up through there, and through here, that Bongo's and coming then back that's around. A, that's a very long-winded path if he wants to get to intruders in the treasure room pretty quick. The other well, one I mean, we don't do know, we don't know we how just, smart he is. We just bar this door. Yeah, we can bar that door. Yeah. <laughs> It opened inwards, didn't it? Mm -hmm. My only concern with our and then plan we just is we're pile up bodies on the side. Little goblins. Yeah, we just yeah, don't know how smart he is. Is all I'm saying. Like, if he gets to here, to if he gets to here and sees the oil and stops, then, then yeah. what do we do? There's there's oil in the way of him and us. Um, he controls this side and the woman. And we're just as likely, well, I guess we, we could still, go around, we assemble the bottles. We can still entangle him there. Assemble the bodies. Yeah, we could still entangle him there. We just have to walk across the oil ourselves or run around here, take the bodies away, and yeah. <clears throat> so we come okay. to a decision. Yeah. Yep, and we're not really hinging it on the gobbos because we're gonna actually gonna hear them. Um, Neri understands it, so if they try and betray us now, we just they're killed just them. Gonna get, they're gonna get flat yeah. stabbed. <laughs> I'll make sure they say what they're gonna say, and then I'll drag them back around the corner with us. And yeah, be polite about this. We're civilized people here. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll bring it back <laughs> as, around as the a corner, bird's right. like so... currently settling down on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> So, and I'll gag them. Right, so I've got uh, two flasks of oil left, currently in the lantern. Mm -hmm. So who's doing what in this plan? And mm -hmm. how are you situating everybody? Uh, well, first up, we'll barricade this door using all the bodies. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. the door into Bongo's room, which leads into another chamber behind you, so that's yep. all barricaded. Yep. We will then proceed to um, like I say, lay down our oil patch across sort of uh, I'd say he's gonna take that corner. 
pretty tight, yeah. Sort of in here. So pretty much a, roughly a foot around the side of the corner. Yep. Close to the um, near wall. A foot. To him. Yep. So how long can you, how far can you spread out the oil? The oil is going to catch Two onto flasks. the onto the entanglement as well, isn't it? That's right, which also means that yeah. happens. Yeah, with any luck, it'll burn down the treasure door for us too. <laughs> well, no, that's, the, that's the one bonus I see to putting it around the corner. Right. But then we... Uh, I have two flasks of oil as well. Okay, so we can essentially lay down four flasks of oil. So I'd say for the I sake suggest of it, splashing um, just a, a touch of it on the treasure door. We'll safely cover one of those five foot square tiles. Okay. So it's going to catch the entanglement anyway, so it's not going to matter that badly. Hmm. I say you splash just a touch of one flask, like a little bit, like one tenth of one flask on the treasure room door as well, just so hopefully it catches and we can kick it in later and get to the treasure. Any objections? No. Meh. Mm -hmm. Okay, doesn't seem to be anyone talking about it. So, okay. um, as far There's as I know, the part of the plan that's been actioned to... is that Bongo's room has been boarded up, basically. Um, where is everyone standing? Yeah. So, I think we should also put one flask of oil here in case they Down come around. Down the other corridor about where yep, you came in. but on the other side of the doorway from where we came in. Mm -hmm. And that Should way, we maybe go and if we have Marava standing here, then he can cast at either direction. Should we maybe investigate the other, this other corridor? Down here? That we haven't actually investigated yet? There seems to be a door at the end of it. Do the goblins know anything about it? I'll ask them now. Mm -hmm. What are you asking? Drag, can I drag? Can I, I drag the goblin with me? No, don't have power to drag him with me. Um, I'm gonna ask them what's down this corridor. A sleeping room. Sleeping room, you say? Mm. And I call Lucky over to me. Um, I'm gonna creep up and have a look just around the corner and see if there's anything past the sleeping room. Okay. Um, as you look around the corner, I will clear it, but um, basically you just see the corridor continuing slightly on a roughly a 45 degree angle, um, mm -hmm. continuing around that way. And, a part, and okay. um, then at another 45 degree angle, another uh, five foot wide corridor leading off sort of would be perpendicular to how you're looking. Right. Yep, uh, I take just a step forward just to take a peek around that um, other corridor. Yep, you'll, you'll also notice that over here, <coughs> oh, great, good chance. That on the corner here near the door is a lantern. So you can sort of see the light. Is a lantern? Yeah, yep. is, uh, sorry, is a torch, I beg your pardon. Is a torch, um, yeah. Yep. As you look down the corridor, in a second, give me a chance to arrive at the sun. What I'm thinking this rut might, might... Hobgoblins have night sight, don't they? Boom. You can see another um, torch at the far end here. Yeah. Um, and so, like I thought, this was where they said rut mark comes from, correct? And there is... Um, they seem to indicate down there somewhere. And there's a door yep. here. Okay. Um, Alright, I'm just going to re... So, firstly, I talk to Lucky and I say, if there's sleeping goblins in there, I mean, you're probably the best to sneak in and kill them in their sleep. And then I talk to the goblins mm -hmm. and I ask them to clarify which which corridor does Rutmark come from? Is it this one or is it this door? So are you, you're asking them, is it the one halfway down the hall or one at the end of the hall? Basically, yeah. I'm pretty sure initially when we asked them, they said rut mark from here. And they corroborate that, that they are, he is in the one halfway down the corridor. Yeah, thought so. All right. 
Um, well, I say, or if the rest of the team wants to come and back up, I say we clear the rest of this place before we tackle Rutman. I mean, we've got a solid plan to do it, but we don't want sleeping goblins waking up, running up here, coming up behind us, and causing a messy fight. I mean, let's go about this smart. Fair enough. You know? Yep. Okay, so... I'm going to appraise this door. <clears throat> and I ask the goblins, what's what's behind this door then? Well, I'll bring them down to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you could, yeah. Um, yep. One what's... of them I've got sort of on a leash, yep. if I could control yep. him. There we go. Yeah, and no, I had the other one, but he wasn't yep. terribly well, leashed. I had a lot more slack yeah. on him. Okay, so yep. you ask him what's behind the door, and he says, beds. Oh, this door. Oh. This door. Oh, that door. Um, what, what do you say about the... Uh, um, he would tell you... Sorry, just let me get to my notes. Um, don't know. Rut Mutson told us never to go there. Never to go there. Have you seen? Have you seen anyone going in there? Rutmut. Have you seen Rutmut? Rutmut's gone in there. Mm. Just Rutmut. Mm. All right. I'm gonna have so a quiet close. conversation in common with the rest of the group, and say that maybe that's where the woman is. Mm. Could be. Could well be. Could also be a uh, three-headed dragon that spits lava. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure they would have got that dragon down here in the first place, but anyway. Um, Alright, so I asked the goblin, do you think there'd be other, is there goblins sleeping now? Mm, don't know. Don't know. Alright. Um, they, they don't know. They wouldn't really know. They don't know. Possibly. Um, don't know. Might be, All right, well, might not be. Alright, I pull out my short sword. Lucky, are you coming in? Sure thing. I'll, uh, walk up to the door. Which one? You might be best Green trying to... Should be further back in the, uh, the lineup these days. <laughs> with one whole hit point. Yeah, Orson, you should be definitely, yeah. So, what, what are you doing, um... Lucky. Uh, I will, I will take an attempt to just listen through the door first. What's your percentage chance, please? Give me two seconds, sorry mate. Yep. Um, didn't have all my stuff over. That's alright. Track of days. Nearly there. That's in the thief section of the player's handbook. Alright. Mm -hmm. It will be. Okay. Plus. Thief. Tables. Thief and you're a human? Thief, I'm a human. Does Dex doesn't come into it, does it? Does what? Nope. Dex, oh. Dex no, it should, have, it should have all your tail. Oh, Dex. Dex. Well, you look under sure. Dex, it's more picking pockets, opening locks. There's no penalty or bonus for hearing. So it's just whatever's oh, no off worries. the table. Unless you're uh, an elf and you have radar. 10%, so. 10%. You listen carefully, sort of shh, 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 to everybody. You can't hear anything behind the door that's easily discernible. You don't believe there's anything behind the door. Just remember the rules Looks that you're allowed to go twice more if you really want to, but that sort of then it gets too much silence and you can't read really it. One and done is the words I live by. So, I'll take your time if you need to, but mm -hmm. it's up to you. So you, All right. what are you doing? Uh, I'll draw one dagger, and I will, as quietly as possible, still hushing everyone, attempt to open the door cautiously. I'll draw my it. long sword, and behind him, I'll be ready to mm -hmm. take notice of what's going on inside, and perhaps go in and, Radio. you know, depending um, on how many there are in yep. there. What is your yep. chance to move silently, please? Level one. Come at me. Let's see. 
Um, <laughs> Fifteen percent. <laughs> Fifteen, and do you have a dexterity at all? Bonus. Fifteen. No bonus there. No, nothing else. So it's a fifteen. You're a human. <laughs> I'll tell you what I rolled after the event. Okay, you yeah. move over. Oh you test the door. You uh -huh. slowly uh -huh. turn the handle. Pity you didn't test for a trap. But you slowly turn uh -huh. the handle and gently and slowly oh, open it a crack. The door, the hinge is as you're looking at the door. The hinge is on the right and the door moves inwards as you open the crack a little bit. The door, sorry, a crack. You will get some light creeping in. God, why would there be a trap on the door on the sleeping quarters? Oh, you never know. Mm, yeah, I learned my lesson. This will never happen again should I survive. <laughs> so you mm. continue to open the door. You might want to move mm. your dude as well. Oh, sorry, yep. So that he's standing in front of mine. Yep. Yes, thank you. Do you <laughs> continue to open the door? Yep. Okay, so you continue to move along a bit more. You've got quite a bit more of the door open. And you see sleeping on the opposite wall. You haven't got it all the way open. Um, but you've like got it roughly orc. to that point. You can see a sleeping orc. A rather nasty, big looking orc, oh, too. Um, he's oh, happily snoring right now. I give him the. Uh, I give him the old. Something you, I sure. point at him and I point at the orc and I give him the whole slit his throat motion. Slit his throat while he's asleep. Give him the old coup de gras. So, <laughs> at that point, Bruce, I'll, I'll just try and step towards the orc whilst checking my corners and doors, you know, as I step through the room. Mm hmm. Um... Uh, so, I guess I'll. Move to like I won't I won't keep pushing the door at that point I don't think. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'm still letting you operate underneath the roll. So yep. um, you'll sort of get to open the door a bit more, and you'll see a bit more of the room. Um, you move over. Everyone who's observing him, he's like the wind. He moves without sound. <laughs> oh my I god. I rolled a one. Zero one. A classic <laughs> on a William roll. On a percentage. So. <laughs> so all he's going to do is hit now yeah, and it's dead. With the dagger, the you've got to hit yeah. an armor class 10. If you fail, he has a chance to wake up and then you're going to have a combat. If you succeed, you kill him outright. May I draw my second dagger and attempt to coop the yeah. grace him with a backstab with both daggers? No backstab. It's a straight no on backstab? hit. No backstab. Backstab bad. All right. Could it what you get? Can I the plus, plus four 10, for the sleeping target too? You get a plus four for the sleeping target. All right. Uh, can I move up at all? Do you want to make a noise? With it, without. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Saying that's what I was no. asking. Can, can no. I move up without making noise that would alert the? Don't no, unless you try. Or do you want? No, nah, I'm not to gonna. Be sure? Okay. Okay, so uh, I've got, or I've got my long sword. Yeah, I've got my long move. sword and shield out though. Okay, so, that's so right. when you're really lucky, let's see how lucky no, you are. Uh, move. No, uh, I move. I move, by the way, um, very in like mouth the silent prayer to best the lucky. <laughs> Something along the lines of you win some, you lose some. <laughs> okay. So this is a lo this hope. This is the losing for him and a winning for you, and that's enough to hit him. That's enough to kill him. In his sleep, <sighs> nice one. passes with a gurgle, briefly sort of oh, opens his eyes, not really sure what's happening, and then as the blood drains from his body, faints, <laughs> and then goes into the death of night. Alright, um, I walk into the room. The rest of the room Look him is over. a real mess. It's it's a pigsty, it's a, what you'd expect in a goblin barrack. Um, there's bits and pieces all over the place. Oh, so you have lucky a pat on the back. Good work. <laughs> Good work, buddy. <laughs> Tip my hat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's for the clothes, anyway. Fucking yep, so there's five monsters. bunk beds in this room, um, and one of them was the large orc. Mm-hmm. All right. You got anything on him? Uh, I'll be frisking his pockets thoroughly at this point. 
right. Um, nothing in his pockets per se, uh, per se um, but it, uh, if you are spending the time searching the room, and that does take considerable time. Mm -hmm. So you're taking uh, considerable time. Well, sorry, just a quick question. Uh, I say we take the time. I'm trying to Might as well do it once we've killed everyone. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's other people we expect, right? Mm, yep. Possibly. Yeah. Uh, there's no, just in a plan site eye check, because I'll give it a thief's once over with my eyes. Anything I should be grabbing? Um, nothing obvious right at this moment. Alright, and no, um, I've also keep my eye for just daggers, randomly daggers of any relative. Uh, I'm just trying to see what weapons he has. So, by his bed, he's got a makeshift, nasty looking um, club with a whole lot of spiky bits poking out of it. He's got a big, <laughs> rough shield. Uh, he's sleeping in his armor, his leather armor. Um, about the room, you can see very crudely made daggers, one here, one there, sort of thing. I need nice them the right prison ship. Relatively weighted. Huh. They are hideously unbalanced. They would not do for throwing, but they do for stabbing. I'll, I'll grab one just because, you know, waste yep. not what not. Okay. I'll just put prison shift on my, on my character sheet. Is that all right? Yeah. Prison shift. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? All right. All right. Well, I'm glad we cleared that orc out because, you know... <laughs> He Could was came big up and us. nasty. That's all I can tell you. Yes. Um, That's good. That's why we go through this methodically and with care and yes. yeah, no. attention to detail. Mm -hmm. Never mind that there was an 85% chance of a hideous fight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but nearly uh, was there uh, behind you, ready to go for it. Yeah. 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 There was a hundred percent chance of a hideous fight if we started, kicked all this off yeah. without wake, without killing him first. So, um, and a hideous fight from behind, where we would have, he would have probably gotted Orson straight away and fucking demolished him because he's on one hit point. I would have been somewhat devil if I if I made that roll and then failed the plus four to hit mm -hmm. an AC ten roll. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you see next, um, one, folks? Right now, shall we go back to? Capping Rutmut in the hallway, or do we want um, to see yep. if he is stupidly asleep? And uh, as as you know, best the luck you would preach, my friend. Um, you, you you know, you don't get pocket aces two games in a row, type thing. Yeah, I doubt he's going to be asleep. Although it does sort of change the layout of the land a bit. Is there any chance we might want to? Uh... Check it Maybe lay the lay the trap just outside his hallway no. both ways. Because no. if we entangle uh, it, set it on fire when the doors open and she happens to be inside. Uh, I had Smoke. a thought, friends. Uh, what if? Wait, how do I do the arrow on this map? So how do you uh, uh, the fourth option, th yeah, fourth option down on the thing on the top. Yeah, the ruler. Then do snap oh, yeah. to corner or snap mm -hmm. to whatever. Yeah. All right. What if he's in this room and he comes this way? I suppose if we this set the trap is his here. room here. Yeah, his room. Um, apparently, it's been yeah. identified oh. as being halfway up the the major corridor. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right I'm and in this room, room they've been told to never go. I've got a feeling the woman may be in this room, but. Yeah, I mean that's what I mean. What if Ruckout was currently with the woman? Uh, even then. Yeah. If we said ambush, or if we said. Then but, there's still the, the straightest path for him is going to be this way. Why would he go the yet. whole way around? There's no accounting for stupid in this world, so I think we should still set both traps, which would cover this way too. Mm -hmm. Well, like I say, yeah, this would that's be what I'm thinking. He could be smart that. or stupid. Also, the fact that there's, um, I mean, hobgoblins have night vision, right? Yeah. Bugbears have night vision. Goblins mm -hmm. have night vision. Mm hmm. Yet there are sconces everywhere. In torches, yeah. Light so, and torches. Light. So what does that tell you? Perhaps Rutgart isn't what we think he is. Perhaps Rutgart is a more intelligent creature. Like, could even be a human. Who knows? Just a big, 
brutish human who's smarter than we think. Like, we need to think about this because the sconces are really throwing me off. If this was just a den full of just bugbears, hobgoblins, and goblins, then there wouldn't be any sconces. Depends on what you think should be in a um, den of those creatures. Yeah, right. Elves, got night elves use light, whilst, but they have whilst, dark vision as well. Yeah, whilst dark visions go great, guess what you can't see? Colour, you can't see depth. It's true. You know, it's like, that the thing is, you know, the oil on the ground, he's not in, in the dark, you won't be able to see it. But... Mm, true. It's the same. If it's the same temperature as the ground, then yeah, you're right. Hmm. Alrighty. Perhaps we should douse the sconces. Make it even less likely that he's going to be able to see the oil. Just I wouldn't remember quite you've like got humans fighting in, in the dark. Plan. Yeah, we got humans in the party, yeah. Alright. Uh, and we may as well humans. leave them on so that, you know, it seems like then, like, everything would be norm. But yeah. The only thing that's right. really different is the fact that, you know, like I say, if you told me trouble in the treasure room, my first instinct would be head there as quick as I can, yelling for all the assistance I could on the way. All right, let's go with the plan then. We got the so plan in know motion. That, we know that this we area cleared out the nasty ass orc that would have came up we from behind. Nothing is behind us here. We know nothing is here. So the only yep. direction that we can expect things to come from is essentially Sorry. out those two doors. Yep. Where do you want your guy, um, Olsen? Your goblin? Uh, my goblin will be, you know, towed just behind me, uh, sort of thing. Here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, my goblin, I'll be the one to take my goblin up and tell him what to say, and then immediately gag him and drag him back with us. Uh, you want him here, uh, right around by the corner, or right on the spot where you intend to pour the oil? Um, uh, no, I want him before we pour the oil. Well, are we pour, pouring the oil in advance? I think we were pouring the oil in advance so that it was the same temperature. Yeah. All right. Well. Like um. Yeah. Just out. just have him next to me then, mm -hmm. and I'll yeah. after he after he calls out, I'll um, I'll gag right. him. And we want yep. to make sure I, that I, we're I, talking about these two squares here. The Maravar wants to target the back. Yeah. Are you able to hold a spell ready? Like, so as in, rather than taking three segments, I've got it ready to cast, and so I can cast it instantly as soon as he... Well, we're praying mainly for surprise. Yeah. What is it, 10 feet? Is it 40 diameter? So, yeah, he'd have to target here, 20, right? 20 yeah, feet one, up. Two, yeah, so three, basically... four... Yeah, he wants to take these two at the back so that it hits like, right the here, so that it hits right up to the treasure room door, which would mean I'd step just here, and the goblin would be just next to me, mm -hmm. Steve. Yeah, so if you target, you have the target torch. Yeah. Is it's is there a torch somewhere that we can throw into the fire? Like, is that a torch? And I'm yep, pretty sure a that's torch one. There. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, we'll get that torch ready to throw for Lucky because Lucky's got our dexterity. Yep. Okay. Alrighty. So targeting from there. Um, all right, you guys ready to go through this? The last question I ask is, do we want to appraise this door before going ahead? No. No. All right, let's do it then. Okay. Yep. The group has spoken. All right. Did, did, so, did, did um, we set a trap on this side too? Yeah, we've got one down here as well, which um, I'll be ready to spring, I guess. Like. Mm. So what, we're using oh, one flask of oil here, are we? Yeah, we're using one flask of oil here. And what, one here? Yep. And then four, or oh, three here, wasn't it? You had three. Oh, you had four three here. Up. Yeah. We oh, did we? Up. So one, two, three. Yeah. And just one. Uh, let me click, to... damn it. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Let me use the ruler. God damn it. So yeah, one, two, and three, mm -hmm. and splash a tiny bit of this one on the door here too. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can, um, once that's burnt to bits, we can kick the door in and one get there. some treasure. And Clem, if you can stand ready to actually one there. Turn, like that one. 
Wonder, does oil conduct electricity, Clint? <laughs> it's a liquid. Maybe, mm. maybe water on the ground instead, <laughs> just electrocute it. Um, I think it's shocking grass with a touch only. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's got that, um... Uh, he's got the, uh... The, I've got the my one with the uh, middle quarter stuff. In, in which case he should be standing here. Yeah. He's still got a reach of only five feet. Yeah. So he'd be standing right next to it, but up against the wall hard. Where do you want me? It's going to be risky, but we want. Anyway, you if we got four here. flasks, we might as well use the four flasks for fire because fire will continue yeah. to burn and will block the passage. If someone comes running up this way, it'll block the passage, and they might end up turning around, coming back up into this, you know, into our main yeah, trap. That's what I okay, so we've got oil on that square there. And this mm -hmm. square, this square, and this square, with a tiny bit splashed on the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask the pyromaniacs of this group that we're not going to die a smoke-related death, right? <laughs> nah. <laughs> what they say. My God. There's this this should hopefully be airflow got, in here. Not, They've got torches it, going, so top, <laughs> they do have an the open. Go they down do low. have an open top, river, and so. it's eighteen and it's eighteen feet tall, so the smoke will go up for a fair bit. Yeah. All right. I also well, just hopefully it escapes you know, through the river exit. Yeah. Right. If not, we rush upstairs. What's first, <laughs> you know? We rush, find the girl, and get the fuck out. Well, yeah. You furry fools. <laughs> Treasure. Treasure though. All right. Yeah, yeah, we can let's do this. Down once it's smoked out. All right. I tell my goblin, look, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna scream out. You're gonna scream out, enemies in the treasure room, come quick. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna shut your mouth. And I don't show him the uh, gag I've got in my hand, right. but um, he's still pretty bound pretty tightly by the wrists yeah, and sort of the feet right. with enough slack to move, but he's still mm -hmm. tied to me. Yep. And um, at best he can I tell him that the moment movement wise. Yeah, I tell him, look, this. If you do this, you will prove to us that you are not our enemy, and we will not slay you like we've slain every other thing in this god-forbidden basement. And okay, how, what does he look? Does he look eagerly is, happy at that well, idea? Steve, by the way, he 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 says, "I will do whatever you say." Okay, and who's ta who's in charge of this one? Yeah, he's because to be I don't him. like the idea of him being just next to Orson, yeah, who's on one hit point. Oh, he's disarmed and stuff anyway, right? Yeah, yeah that's disarmed. fine. Yeah, and tied up. Yeah, all right. That's well, cool. on one hit point, a nasty bite's gonna end his life, right? Well, no, a nasty bite will probably put me on zero. Um, <laughs> a nasty bite oh, would yeah. be depending Subtual. on who delivers it, but. Um... Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that later on if it happens. Okay, Could be bad. So, he should really goblin, be gagged. The he should be gagged. Screaming and yelling. Um, help! Help! Enemies in the treasure room! Help! Help! Enemies in the treasure room! Help! Help! Enemies in the treasure room! Just he's screaming out the top of his lungs as best he can. Yep. Um, and I need. To All right. Roll. Time to calm down and wait for a moment. And what do we hear? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> sorry. Uh, you wait. I'm oh, sorry. That's alright. No, you wait. And you wait. Nothing. Nothing. At all. Nope. Alright. Flask of You're oil. Seeing no one awesome. coming. You can't hear anybody coming down the yeah. other corridor. So you don't. Right. Unless, unless they can sneak as well as mm -hmm. Lucky can. You don't believe there's anyone coming along that bottom corridor? I poke the goblin, tell him to scream louder. <laughs> He's like, get, make it, like really making his voice hoarse. Enemies on the treasure room! Rutgut, help, help! Rutmut, sorry, Rutmut, help, help! Yep. Bongo's dead! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yep, so you wait a little I bit. I shake my head. Yeah, wait, um, wait a little bit, and you'll be greeted with um, some little, little people coming around the corner. Yeah, okay. so like I thought, the henchmen would come first. All right, I um, with my bow out. We will roll for surprise first. 
Okay. So you're doing it, so you get to do the roll. Standing um, by. 1d6. Oh, God. Um, I should get my actual 1d6 out for this. Yeah. Like I thought. Jesus. See, I, okay. just, I need physical dice. So, this is so only going to get what, a 1d6. What happens? <laughs> Um, you just dive straight back around, probably. Is that we're it's, surprised? <laughs> it's, prob it's probably what you're surprised about is the two wolves that show up uh, with them. Oh, shit. Just cast the entangle. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, that's why you're surprised how they get to do stuff before, because you are surprised. Um, we're surprised we're waiting for them. I know. How could we be you surprised? You got surprised by the fact that there were more than what you thought. What? We were expecting anything. Were you? Would you be expecting <laughs> yeah. a dragon? <laughs> I was going to say, be. don't say that, man, because <laughs> dragons <laughs> do <laughs> show up. <laughs> Just for the record, I did say a three-headed dragon spits lava, so I technically yeah, wasn't we were, prepared we, for that. We were expecting whatever was going to come. like Which is, to your knowledge... Anything. It could, could no, be anything. anything. Could have been goblins, more you than goblins. Have an expectation of some things. You, unfortunately, the dice have. That's the rule. When you roll a one, you're All surprised. Right. All right. Yep. Dice um, gods have spoken, and they've gone yeah. against us. Or actually, this is an RNG god. Yeah. <laughs> and that sucks. It's a whatever it is. So, hang on. He faces that. Fuck way. you, RNG Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah, I've got to get them all facing the right bloody way. Okay, these guys come screaming around with the wolves in tow. Um, you guys sort of go, what the? Um, so first of all, this guy and this guy come at you. Give me a second. Holy canines in the dungeon. That's right. Oh dear. Okay. Bonk. Radio. So this gentleman. That's not fun. Slips. He's now on his ass. He's slipped in the oil. And he's on his ass. Mm -hmm. This one keeps on coming. Yay. Unfortunately, he's not a missile launcher, so he just keeps on running. Into the next square. So, one, two, and he gets a chance to repeat the problem. <laughs> and falls. <laughs> he slips on his ass. Dog's being a little bit more grounded. One, two, three, four. Oil drive. One, two, three, four. Sorry, Next. Ron. Thank Sorry. you, Goblin friend. That's no, right. Sorry. So they take that time to get there. They both have a chance at taking you on. Um, they're familiar with the Goblin, so they're probably not going to pick him. This one completely bites his tongue. Bites its own tongue, yep. Yep. Out, out, out. So he's going to inflict a tiny bit of damage on himself. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, seems like there's a domestic going on outside my house, but I'll awesome. leave it. Hello, Woodville. And the mm. second one manages to hit <coughs> Nilly. Yep. Doing five points of damage. Oh, all right. On half health. Okay. Um. So the first one is yelping. So the bottom, the southerly one, has managed to bite itself on the tongue. Did a little bit of damage. I oh, know. Sorry. The northern one. Sorry. It's the northern one. It has bit itself. So it's not doing anything. The southern one is. Um. And at the end of all that, coming around the corner is a very robust, in armor, nasty-looking orc. Mm. Um. Yeah. Um, I still... So he sees the two goblins on the ground. He doesn't know what the hell's made them do that. Um, and he just starts striding. Comes into here. And before you guys get to do anything, let's see what he does. Oh, thank God. He ends up on his ass. Better cutting me oh. down. Thank fuck. So only the wolves have managed to get past the oil, um, and only one wolf has managed to actually manage to have an attack. <laughs> now we go to initiative. Is anyone casting spells? 
I shall be casting yes. a spell. <laughs> yes. Lucky, light him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, Maravar, since you're casting the spell, you're next, I guess, in line. So you're rolling a um, 1d6 and beat a 3. Oh, fuck. You only got to get a 4. Well, no. Yes! Oh, oh thank God. God. Thank so God that didn't come down to Matt. Lucky, that just, light them them Lucky just light them up. Lucky just light them up. On a 4, we have missile fire. Well, I'm moving back this way, and I'm going to have Well, my... not movements, not just yet, so just yeah, move I know, back from where you are, so you know. just for now. Um, so on I've a four, the at the start, missile fire. Um, um, I can, I shoot, my... can I shoot my bow, and then in the movement action, drop it and pull out my sword and shield? There's you're a wolf biting you. Uh, you're in melee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm in melee, so... But I so have my bow you, out, so if what? If you want to shoot, not the dog, but if you want to try to shoot one of the ones on the ground, there is a penalty because they're on the ground. But you would be able to shoot one of them, um, and you would probably be able to get your sword and shield ready, but do nothing else. Mm, but if I don't shoot, I can get my sword and shield ready, but attack the dog? If you basically fling your shield and your arrow behind you, and then as you do that, you whip out your sword and your shield and you have a go at the wolf. Okay, so I can, if I don't shoot, I can get my sword and shield out and have a go at the wolf. Yeah, it's one of them, yep. Yep, yep, alright. Um, I will forego the shooting, shooting. Okay. because hopefully they're going to be lit the, lit the hell up anyway. Right, okay. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yep, Lucky, are you doing any fantastic throwing range attack? Yes. I'm presumably throwing a torch, right? Right. Uh, aiming, aiming for this um, spot. Two. So you've got a minus two to hit them because of the area, but um, you only have to hit an armor class 10 to do so. So uh, and actually just, armor class 12 clear, is dex. Yep. Am I trying to hit any of... No, you're just trying I'm to hit... I'm trying to hit them and not the pile of oil. You're just trying to hit one of the pile, one of the pools of oil. Oh, so it's not like a giant pool that takes up four squares. It ta well, it takes up a uh, takes up three, three. Yeah. Oh, so I was only asking then because if I just try to lob it here. That's what you're general. trying to do. That's why it's armor class ten, not eight Minus or four. four. You're not trying to hit them. You're trying to hit the but, yeah. the ground. And you get a minus two because of the range, low ceiling, all that crap. Alright. And you're trying to make sure you don't trying knock not to make sure on the it goes back out. Yeah. Uh, with the flaming, uh, flaming and torch. Making sure it doesn't go out. Mm. No worries. Papa wants his chicken dinner. Let's so, see. 12 or more. <laughs> and that's a 13. Woof. So, um, we'll take this and it goes woody, 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 woody. Boom. Um, you when um, when a chicken dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. So right now, um, can you please roll two d six? Get high. Five. Yeah, don't flames. Don't flames also scare wolves. The fire the hunt wolf. Now their <laughs> only yeah, now their only way is through you. You're gonna scare them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they can uh, run past me. I don't mind. Right. Okay, that's if you're attacking the fire. The fire's behind them. But anyway, um, yes, you have some... One goblin's definitely stopped. The other one's kicking and screaming. The orc is really pissed. No. And he just going on, right? grunts out something. Um, Nuri, which you would understand, would be kill. Um... You're probably guessing it's what's right in front of you that he's uh, instructing to do something. Um, on uh, yeah, a... yeah. Yep, so we've had um, missile. Magic start Movement. spell casting starts. Movement. Movement happens after spells. Yeah. So, Miravar, you're starting to cast. Yep. You don't. This spell doesn't go off until a two. Until uh, a... Um, Four, three, two, one. A one. That's three segments. Yeah. 
so um, they get to do something but you know you're at the back it's not like that anyone's going to be able to attack you before you go there <laughs> yeah so yeah um, just me yeah so you start your spell movement for anyone who wants to do movement, movement. awesome uh, uh, front of... I want to take the opportunity to like oh, I can move back move now. here okay you move there what are you doing Klim I was moving back to about here, but it seems awfully crowded right then, right now. That's okay. <laughs> so I guess I'm going... Uh, I'll move further. I, I don't want the exit between me and <laughs> oh my, my back. <laughs> you guys, I'm, I'm guarding the, the These people aren't up. resisting, so Clem, if you want to go past them, you more you yeah. can. They're and not they're not stopping you. You can't, you can't move oh, yeah. in can and I... shoot a slingstone. So can I can... I... Clem? I can't move and... Ooh. Cast a spell, but I you can move, move and use your wand. Use your wand. But you've only got one charge in it left for now. <laughs> now is a good time. All right. Well, I'll just. Uh, I think. I guess I'm going to use it, and I'm thinking I'm going to use it on a wolf. Um, southerly wolf or northerly wolf. Or do we take out its master? Up to you. Honestly, what are you, you going to do? I don't take out its master, and then they don't know what it. to do. You could, oh, you could save my yeah, life I'm gonna, by killing I'm never go to the orc. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I have. Uh, which, which he's about the, to be uh, entangled. Hit, um... Sorry. I'm going to hit the wolf that um, attacked our friend. Neary. Well, the one that looks like it's attacking because you didn't see it, but yep, okay. Neary. Okay, so you're going for the wolf attacking Neary, so yeah. um, you get up there, you whip out your wand, and you go zapper. There you go. I'm a class 10. It'll be a good roll. Yeah. That's a hit. And damage, please. It only does 1d4. It does only do 1d4. Yep. But nah. That hmm. could be the difference between life and death. Considering the amount of enemies pew, we've got pew. Two, exactly zero, I think every bit counts. Pew, pew. Two points of damage. You people love yeah, playing yeah. with your food, don't you? Runs um, away with its, uh, yeah, between its legs. Yes. Um, well, you should see what given we the do fact, to I, I do have to force a roll on this particular creature right now. It's taken down. Oh, good God. Um, cool. It can't go backward, so it has to go forward. So it is fleeing <laughs> up this way. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Nitty, that means Quick. because it's fleeing, you get an automatic back attack on it without even doing your normal attack. I name this okay. one Elsa. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do I get bonus back attack? Plus two to hit. Plus one the back. Oh, plus I'm two to hit on top of my plus one. one. All right. Yep. Elsa. That's a 16, 17, 18, 19. That's a 19. That's a hit. And um, you don't really need to go any further because the poor beast was only on one. But it's gone. Oh, okay. Uh, which means right. you can. Yeah. Um, Let's check overkill. Maravara yeah. is still yeah. casting. Um, oh, you I'm still have an attack. Yep. I still have an attack. Um, yep. Right. I slash at the other wolf. Okay. Oh my god, you killed right. something, by the way. Shush, shush, shush you. Hey, 18 pieces. plus 1, 19. Another 19. Mm hmm. Damage? Um, damage. Um, yep. I feel like I should get my 1d8 out instead of relying on this goddamn system, which destroys me at every moment. Hey! <laughs> he came through for one! He says as he just stabs yeah. it royally. It does, doesn't kill it, but you definitely put a large gash in its left front, forefront um, shoulder. Um, I assume it's yep, scared it's at It's bleeding point. quite a lot. Um, with that, with the, uh, you're forcing these poor creatures to do, um, run the only way you can. Well, do morale checks because, run past me, um, run past it, me. It can, but it, you can't do another one. You only get one. Oh, of really? Those, yeah, you only get one of those, um, it's like, um, what they, what do they call it? Ap ap 
opportunity to attack things and then you take the oh, opportunity. Oh yeah, yeah. Attack Does opportunity, does the yeah. goblin take a kick at it? No. He's not being expected to. Oh, so this one sort of follows its mate. Awesome. Can I swing Should at it with my quarter staff? Yep. Yes. Plus two as it moves past you. It's not interested in fighting. Eighteen plus two, twenty. Damage. Uh I do five points. Walk. And Walk. it lies down Good. with its friend. Um, that pretty much is where your side finishes on a three. The orc is looking totally pissed. He will move out of the fire. Sorry. Doesn't have to one. stand up first. Just wanted to say. Sorry? Yeah. Doesn't have to stand, he will stand up, up he, will, <laughs> he will stand up. He takes damage. Um, he gets up, moves out of the oil. Please roll lucky. Roll another d6 for the damage he takes in that, that portion. As he burns. Oh. Hey. oh, god damn it. You play. Okay. You win some, you lose some, man. He moves up, and he will strike. He already had his armor and everything ready, just that he fell over. Um, and can you, because you've got one Doesn't getting up goblin take a turn? here. Should he roll to fall over again? No, because that no, this cause area moved, here has not got oil on it. He moves with the fire. Does he, um... Yeah, the it did. goblin here, can no, you please roll another We had that one, that one, and that one. Lucky? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Lucky, another d6 for the goblin that's sitting over here. All right. See how well, much fire the, this, this armoured, hulking, angry beast that's on fire attacking have like a frightful mental oh, image. Oh, God. He's Come smouldering, he's not burning any longer. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. God, you're wanting to play with your food so badly. He's the card He manages to go. roll over the to there. Um, he's only interested in getting out of the flames and putting them out, so he's rolling on the fly, squealing. Um, he's left his spear he in roll the into other oil. Is that even a possibility? Pardon? <laughs> is there a possibility he'll roll into other oil? No, he's <laughs> he's conscious enough to make a move to where there is no fire. Um, oh, okay. And that's the closest part, part is just to roll out of that way. So he's alive, but he's on the ground oh just putting God. himself out. Um, and now All it's right. Rotmut's turn to swing at Niri. Mm -hmm. On the three in melee. 1d20, he gets a plus. And he needs, what's your armor class, Nidri, please? Oh, it's studded leather with a shield with a plus 2 from Dax. So that is 4. 7, 5, no, 7, 6, 4, yep, 4. 7, 6, 4. And he needs, just give me a look. For an Probably a 12. Four. Ah, 14. <laughs> Um, Wait, no. He needs a 12. 11. A 12. That go. goes 16. Uh, that is a doesn't need that day. problem anyway. Alright, I'm down. Let's Maybe. see how this goes. Maybe. Maybe. Yep. yep. Yes. What, yep. Are you, what are you into? Yep. Negative I'm at minus one, Good. I believe. Okay, if he doesn't attack you any further... Uh, he will probably you you don't suffer any more damage. You just fall to the ground unconscious. You can't really do anything else. Yep. And it's up to the rest of the group. I believe there is a potion of plus one somewhere. Yep. A thought um, goes unanswered. Might not be able to get to you though <laughs> right now. So yeah, not right on now. A but two, everyone still hears Maravar chanting, chanting, chanting. On the beginning of a one, Maravar, where are you now placing your? I... I, I want it to end between Nuri and the Orc. So I want that to be the front face of it. Mm hmm Okay. Yep. So he gets a saving throw. And it's saving throw versus... Versus... versus Spells. Spells for a monster of his thingy Bobby. He needs a... Hopefully, shit. Uh, even even if he succeeds, he's still caught up. Yeah. He's just at It'll twenty-five percent. It'll take him a round to get out of it. Um, by that time, yeah. um, no, he doesn't. No. Say he's caught. Hey. Oh. And he doesn't have sufficient strength to actually move through it at half yes. speed. So he's caught in it. Um, as you watch, he's caught. Drag me back and save me, goddammit. it! Oh, that was my next action: is to yeah. grab you and pull you back and yell, "Klim, 
to use his shocking grasp to you know, walk up and just moment, smack the guy please. in the face. <laughs> Entangle on fire? <laughs> it may start. Okay. The goblin, as Orson comes to move you, moves over and helps pull you back. No! Oh. That's the role I just made to see if the goblin was going to suddenly turn, turn on you or not. He didn't. Oh! Um, what a... What a loving goblin. I am going to well, keep him as my we're, pet. That's it. <laughs> it's, that that's... they can, you know, that we are clearly fucking amazing. Hmm. You Mate, might have this just might... gained your first minion. <laughs> yeah, I have. I've so gained my first henchman. That's This goblin is going to be my sidekick from now on. Possibly. For sure. Can we, can we name them Wingus and Dingus? Dead well, buddies. I didn't say anything about the other guy yet, because yeah. I haven't rolled for him. I th- no, I thought they mine, were already mine's getting named. a more noble name than that, for sure. Bobo. Mine's gonna be like... Beavis and Butthead. Yes, Buckhead. maybe something like that. <laughs> Goblin and Oblin. Maybe Lest- Lester or something. Uh-huh. Sebastian. That's good, so that's, um, that's you. Uh, Lester, you saved me. Is. He is, he is right by... Okay, he's there, so not you. Um... The goblin by you, Clem. Yeah. So I'm just going to roll a d6 because he's got three really juicy targets to choose from, and he's. He turned on us. He is turning, unlike his much more wiser friend. Uh, one to two, he's going for Orson. Uh, three to four, he's going for Maravar. Five to six, he's going for Clem. He's going for the people he knows use magic, because that would be a sensible thing to do if you're trying to take out the most valuable enemy. No, not Marava. the one we want you to strike. Take me, take me. Lester, I've been Marava, nice to you, you have cast a spell. You don't have any decks. What armor do you wear? Uh, I have a um. Shit, what is it I'm wearing? Leather. Uh, leather with shield. I've got a seven AC. Yep. Uh, I've got no dex bonus. Casting a spell, which technically this round you still are. Cool. So I've got an eight. Okay, so leather is an eight, right? And he gets a plus two because you've been casting, so Has he left He's... himself in backstab range from Lucky? Well, who knows, but this guy gets to jump in. Now. Requires you not to be yeah, I was just asking. Now he's about to be beaten into the good dirt. And he managed to swing at you, Maravar, and just narrowly miss. As I don't know, Orson's really? about to jump on him and squash him into the piece of the ground. Yep, that's uh, basically it. Yep. Okay, Orson. <laughs> Look at him. That was fucking stupid. Yeah, why you <laughs> did You're concentrating on the spell. Okay, <laughs> Orson, you haven't done anything yet, so. Um... Beat this little goblin into. Yep, so he probably jumped at Maravar trying to bite him or something because he doesn't have a yep. weapon. Yep. And yes. then bop on the noggin. I and will also hit his armor class up. of five. Uh, that will hit him. And then he does. Would he get a win it for six points of damage? Uh, Cave his me little skull so I can go. Blip, and his brains <laughs> go all over the ground. I'm moving Cave back there, Clint. Cave his little skull Right. And Lester's even my, more my companion now. Yeah. Now that he's seen his little friend die. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, he's you're like, hearing live, a lot of cursing and screaming. The orc is not screaming because he's on fire and burning. Um, the orc is screaming, uh, he wants to kill all of you. Um, eventually the screaming will stop after a couple of turns. You suddenly realize that, oh, hang on. While, while yeah, you do have the river and the, you do have like some 18 foot, some 15 feet tall parts, the smoke is starting to come down now and you need to move. It's yep. filling this area up. Uh, is, is, is the orc dead, or...? The orc finally it... stops after about two or three turn, uh, two or three rounds. Okay, because I, I would have been couching him with stones. No, 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 we need to find the girl. You're in a hurry. Get those yep. last two potions in me. God damn it, so oh, I can yeah. move. Oh, so, yep. Yeah, yep. 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 <laughs> potions to the downed one. Mm-hmm. Alright, thank you. Okay. So you're right. back on one. Lucky point. stops one. to open the door. Back to get, on one. Get an extra path to smoke to go to. If that's alright. <laughs> yeah. so we'll yeah, quickly whip it out of my. Yeah. Whip the potion out of my belt pouch and force feed it down her throat. Right. <laughs> Everyone stay low. Yeah. I groggily yeah. stay as I as, get as, up and I say, you... "Come on, Lester, 
to and me, you're moving Lester, away can I, from the can fire I have control the over jungle. Lester? Uh, Lester follows you, and I will just yeah, yeah. now give you control. I feel, like I, I feel like I need control over him. By the way, did what's his name die? The orc. The orc. Yeah. Well, yeah. He stopped screaming after a few turns. <laughs> yeah, but did he die? Well, did he die? Him. There you go, there's Lester if no. you want to grab him, um, Matt. Yep. You should be able to move No, him. did he die? Did he die? Did, 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 did well, anyone see him Unless you want to go up to the fire and no one, yeah, no one, one is up to the giant no one is bomb dead. fire. That is that fucking yeah. huge area. Yeah. And there's a lot of smoke right. at the moment. There is some smoke getting to you down here, but it does clear a little bit as you move along yep. the corridor. And where yeah. you are now, sort of on the parallel corridor to the one where you've had the fire set, it's mostly clear, but it is starting to get a bit smoky. Yeah. Which way is it wafting? Like, um, in terms of... Oh, I've got to switch so I can do directions. Is it wafting out this way or out this way? It's wafting all around. Okay. Um, all right. It's not, not wafting completely clear, so you are going to... If you hang around long enough, you're going to be overcome by smoke. Yeah. yeah, all right. All right, no worries. Let's do this. And then I feel like I could have stood there and pumped a few rounds into him, made sure he was dead yeah, while you guys cool. secured the girl. But, like, would I be able to live standing near that fire uh, with, like, a cloth over my mouth, Steve? In your current state, do you want to risk it is the only question I'm going to ask you. No. Also, I feel All right, like if fine. you have to ask that question, the dude is dead. Um. Okay. And the Steve hasn't put a cross on me. That cross on him. That's all I gotta say. Mm. All right, we appraise this door. Okay. So and this goes to dead. This, this door oh, here. I just Sorry. am gonna quickly come up to this door and poke my head around into his room, because I'm assuming the door here was still open. Um, that place is starting to fill up with smoke. Just so you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm just quickly staying as low as I can, sticking my head around. Lucky, sure where's that... Lucky? She's what? not in there. What was the girl's name? Lucky's coming with the party reluctantly. Uh, Lucky, appraise this door. I only do reluctantly. one thing at a time, guys, so I'm just clearing out this. Uh, first of all... Because I will room. shout out the girl's name. Um, her, her name I don't think it was mentioned, so I'm going to call her Anna. And you're cool. entering this room. This Wasn't room, there an else for a minute ago? Door... <laughs> okay, this door awesome. does is locked. Okay. Um, um, in that <laughs> other room, Orson, yep. what you can see is. Let me give you a description. Couches, chairs, tables, all gaudy, none matching. Fill this room, judging by the relative newness of the furniture compared to the rest of this hideout, you guess it's all been pretty stolen pretty recently. Um, by one of the chairs, um, there's a door in the back. It goes in deeper. Yeah. Yeah, um, that, that's pretty that. much it. Um, this I door, lucky, it's locked. You can easily see a lock. on walls or anything like that. Nothing, and the, there's some bits and pieces on the desk that have been brushed off on some onto the floor, as if someone's just left this room in a hurry, <laughs> as he may have done. Lucky, what are you doing? Oh, he's probably got the key on him. Uh, if it is, it's very hot and very probably melting now. Mm. Uh, it might not melt, depending on what it's made of. Sorry. We're, uh, we're going to have to come back have, and see. I, don't I have think we're going to have to evacuate. Right. Lucky's going to stop. Kick it in. Uh, yeah. Is anyone strong enough to kick the door in? I don't have my tools on. Slash it, in ownership of me. I think um, Nuri is asking you, 15. is it trapped? Strength 15. Ah, yeah, I'm asking you, is it trapped? Jesus. Yeah. Uh, what do I roll to do that? Is that what a Give me your percentage, and I'll do the roll. One second... And I'll uh, yell at the others that there's another door here too. Twenty percent. Um, can you do it multiple you times? Tell, you go over it very quickly. Um, got a dagger. You sort of run through the little gaps in the doors. You sort of 
gingerly poke it, avoiding the keyhole itself. Um, of course, the dagger is not going to unlock it, but it might set off a trap or something. Nothing seems to get set off. The so goblin said something about so. knowing about the girl, didn't he? Um, the, the, the yeah. goblin Lester. knows what, is, what have you asked him, Nuri? Lester, where is the girl now? We need to know. know. I don't know. You don't okay. know? No, you don't know. You Rutgart, sure Rutgart, you haven't seen her going to this room? Rutgart took her. I went to sleep. I came back and got told to guard the treasure room. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Treasure room. <laughs> Good boy, Lester. Uh, maybe. But Either yeah, way, just, awesome. Is that, is that is that is that arm um, room you just looked into? Cut for like, is it filled with smoke yet? Um, it's. Yeah, Starting. well, you could probably spend another five to ten minutes in here if you really needed to. What if we shut the door and blocked entrance to the yeah, room, like block, not, blocked vents? Then you have to run out through it. But yeah, but no, but we could wait for it to disperse through the uh, yeah, cavern where the, where the water where the water goes. We could wait for it to to disperse. Then, it's either that, or we is... evacuate now and come back. Later. I'll Rather try and kick girl. open the store, Fine. Steve. The girl. What's hey. your strength? Uh, 12, so I've got a 1 to 2. Can I tell him that I'm not 100% sure I'd need more time about traps? I, I do I want to say <laughs> that. I'll, um, I will stand back here. Radio. Okay, Marava, roll a d6. Hope you get a 1 or a 2. This is when you want a low one number. Or two. 3. So, not quite. Did anything happen with him kicking open the door? He hurt his foot. Oh, uh, no, god damn it, I stride forward done. with a strength of 15, what do I need? A 1 to 2 as well. Oh, god damn it, well, someone else might as well just, try, I'm on a fucking remember, HP of no, 1. if you do it and you get low enough, you actually can damage yourself. Yeah, alright, someone high, else, sorry, kick the door, god damn it. <laughs> else we're out of here, else ah, we're out of here now and we're coming yeah. back. Uh, I, I, I'll I, just I, wang into it. What's using the Hulk of myself. Of yeah. can, I, can I help throw him at the door? <laughs> no. <laughs> a one. <laughs> okay, where you go. No, that's what I just rolled, a one. Okay. So you <laughs> one smash two. through the door. Yep. Oh yeah! <laughs> Don't say that yet, it could have been trapped. <laughs> yeah. In which case you in would fact. mostly have set it off right now. Yeah. And we all go up in flame and campaign. Girl. Did I not stand far enough back? Three headed Find dragon. The girl, run! Either. Get to here the chopper! Three, three headed dragon, here it comes. Oh, fuck the girl, oh. we want the treasure. Okay, you are in a room. Um, Lucky traps. So there is a door immediately opposite you, Orson. There and is a door here. down there to the south of you. Um, and that one seems to be boarded up quite. Well, boarded up. Lucky okay. traps. Well, let's not go for the boarded up one. Um, uh, also, the... also, you'll see that someone's actually tried to start bricking it up. Bricking it up. The boarded up one? Yeah. yeah. Isn't whatever is behind there no money one? Yeah, I think we'll stay away from that one. Okay. Alright, uh, I'm going to check for traps. But... Okay. Um... You can check for traps Lester, again. stay with me. What's your chance, sorry? For checking for traps again? Sorry, I've missed it. Oh, sorry, 20%. My stupid thing is needed, sorry. Okay, so... Um, Lucky sort of, again, uses his dagger, or his, his, his crappy dagger, I don't know which one, sort of trim, goes around the trim, tries to get in and see if anything sets off when he puts the dagger in the keyhole looks around for any uh, suspicious looking um, things to step on, doesn't seem to think that there's anything there, and in his quick opinion, believes that there are no traps. Steve, does I that just, take yeah, a quickly, decent amount of yeah. time? Because if, if this is taking like a minute or two, I'll come and check this door, see if it's locked, and try and open it. The door's unlocked. The, the room is starting to fill in with some smoke, though. Sweet. I'll open this door then. <laughs> okay, you've got a light source? Uh, I am an elf, I have dark vision. Okay, so, you, you could also just happen to, like, pick up the, um... Um, torch, torch right there. Torch that you, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll grab that then. Okay. 
Okay. Might as well have a light source. Just say it's over here with you somewhere. Yep. Okay. So are you going to go through the door? Are you? Yep. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay. Um, the other door is locked, as I said, um, but not uh, appears to be not trapped. What right, do people in Lucky's the south gonna... do? Lucky's going to be a team player and attempt to corner. kick down this door. Okay, roller. What do you need on a one d six, matey? Uh, is that based on strength? Yeah. You look up your strength in it and it has a little table on the strength table. What's your strength? What's your strength? Twelve. One, one, to, one two. to two. Need a one to two. All right, one, two, one six. six. Your favorite numbers will. Need a one to two. You I got fifteen. Kick the door in. One, two. Nice. Kick the door Blow in. Blow myself up in the pros. Blow myself up. Um, you don't accidentally <laughs> like follow through and fall into Fire the room, room but right. you kick into the room. Um, the door swings open and you see in the feeble light that's coming into this room a very... No, what do you mean? I'm holding a lantern! Okay, well, a lantern. Uh, you see a poor young girl who looks up to you and says... Yes! Can I, am I able to be... Am I going home? I run up, grab her, yep. say yes, little lady. Cut her bonds <laughs> if she's got them. Take her by the hand and leg it! Leg it! Okay. Let's get out of here, yo. Such a... oh, I no. can okay. move both at once. Quickly, Maravar, you heard the yeah. yell out, we're yeah. leaving. What do you yeah. do? I'll yeah. give you a quick right description <laughs> of the room you're in, Maravar. Um, so you don't have much time. But Maravar, yep. um, a large bed dominates half of this room. It's sheets stained with mud and possibly blood. You're not quite sure. The whole place smells like an orc's armpit too. Um... <laughs> What you can see is a coin purse li lying by the bed. This this place will clear out of smoke. We're not going to be heading back straight away, I don't imagine. So I'll just leave it. Okay. Should be right. right here, uh, we'll be coming back. We'll be coming back, but might as well grab it. Yoink. <laughs> okay. Rightio. Okay. So you then you roll. all make for the exit. Yes or no? Yes. Yep. Yes. yes uh, we make for the exit. Okay, we make for so our donkey. Yeah, donkey. Do not leave. forget that there's oil here. By the way, gentlemen. <laughs> okay. We gingerly <laughs> step over. <it. laughs> yep. Taking care to uh, move past there. You by the way, how much door. how much smoke is up around here? It's getting very at thick. At the moment. Um, oh god! You would have to crawl now to be in a smoke-free zone. So you all sort of okay. If, if I crawl, if I... Dead. You're sure you reckon the creature is dead? It would have to be right. Because the fog is that thick, that thick nothing now? survives. Yeah, true. The orc couldn't survive, could he? No. Nah, dude was anything. literally on fire. Mm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> And, and, and is it just me, or can you smell bacon? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you. So now we know what the burning orc smells like. Um, We're coming back in here for the okay, treasure. So you manage to sit outside there, the entrance. crawl up the spiral staircase out into the fresh air. Um, it's, you went in there in the morning. Um, it's almost like midday. Lunchtime. <laughs> it's like lunchtime. Nah. Do we no, have... lady miss? We miss lady, pretty can much can I move her, her or back to town uh, by I'm... evening. <laughs> I'm busy, you know, brushing the dust off her and trying to mm. charm her with my yeah. charming ways. Well, she's extremely uh, thankful lady. that she got rescued. We'll ask you her uh, name. Uh, she's we got also like... extremely oh, alone no. in a room down there. Like, all right, there we go. Uh, yeah. yeah. I also, I also did have to just double check before I got to, you know, handsy helping her. Quite unquote helping. Is she yeah. a pretty lass? <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, oh, she I also happens to be um... the rural sheriff's daughter. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very polite. Right. Denied. It's all very, it's, it's all very well masked. I, I think the term is almost Denied. like it's almost like cock blocked. But anyway, um... yeah. she's I also what, like twelve or something. And she oh, is no. pretty young. No, no, she's not that young. Yeah. She is of marriageable age. Um, sold. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. So, in fantasy terms, um, that's so like what, 16? After a wee while, smoke <laughs> does start to curl out of the hole in the ground that you went down, um, and it continues to smoke. 
Um, it looks Beautiful. like you did a really good job, um, and it's probably going to take a wee while for that smoke to clear. So oh. we will <laughs> head back, back to town, back. drop her off, rest we'll up, come sleep back for out. A night, come back out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, actually, I'm thinking of camping here and waiting. Honestly, I don't I want anyone. It's the same idea with all the smoke making giant smoke signals. Uh, the signals smoke signals could in indicate for looters to come. Yeah. Like, would, would would you rather die to people coming and to rob the place, or come back actually, and surprise them as they're looting the place? <laughs> yeah, I need rest to be honest. Unfortunately, <laughs> I say we gap it back to town because it's only like a quarter day trip. Yeah. Also, I have to I have to negotiate with the dude who gave us the quest to begin with. So, lucky, all right, lucky, let's lucky, let's lucky. head out of here first off. Where's Wait. Where's the other map we can move to? Hold up, hold up, hold up, right. hold up. We came up through a hole in the ground. We came up through a door, so you could close it. The smoke wouldn't dissipate. There's no much. door. There's no door. Yeah. No, so we, we need the smoke to just a spiral staircase that would have led up to uh, the inside of the building. This that one building here, has been that, destroyed. Um, this this actually, door that's actually I'm, I'm down the spiral about, staircase. Up, um, that, is the smoke thin that gives me a good here? idea. Let's shut the doors. Oh, Let the yeah, smoke Steve. well up. Make sure it kills everybody, and then when we get so back, so someone's going to go down. Someone's going to go down the really smoked, smoke, yeah, smoky passageway. Why don't we just like chuck a whole heap of branches and shit on the entrance and hopefully they'll stop some of it. Yeah, I'm done with that. Oh, I thought you said it was just starting to wisp up the stairway. You, it, as, as time goes by, it does get thicker. Okay, if yeah, it's no, gotten thicker by now, then I'm not going down there. But mm -hmm. if there was a chance we could shut the door, then I would shut the door. always a chance. All right. There's yeah. always a chance on one HP. No, I'll be alright. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So Send if Lester, if, mate. if, if we doing? lay Lester, Lester, mate, Send Lester. You... No. he's little. Oh, he's Send he's him. my good friend he's though. He's on full health. He's a gobbo. He's little. This is like what he was made to do. Oh if shit! You have, if you got a henchman and you don't do this, that is just literally obs that's obscene. I'm just outraged. Oh my and god. What you think? Give it a break. He helped save my life, mate. Now okay, before, before, treasure. okay. I start I cutting know. down branches. Okay. Picking the most appropriate wrap... ones. Yep. Oh, Leafy oh, branches. Oh. Okay, by the way, back at town, are goblins, like, are they hated? Like, if me having a goblin henchman, would that just be, like, horrific? You've got to remember that, um, Eriwode is off the main road sort of place so they do have more unusual people in town um so they do have goblins and stuff about because i remember the well, town we, we very, were in before very, that very they had... um popular uh, pop, uh, aren't very um seen very often but if they obey the rules no one's going to tend to attack them God. Yeah, because so I remember the last you, but... the last campaign we had the place that had the whole non-human quarters, yep. where there were bugbears and there were goblins mm -hmm. and there were all sorts of stuff. So, yeah. so Eerie Wode, you're saying a goblin could get by without? Yep, there too might be a bit of prejudice, tricky. but yep. no one's going to try to slice them up. Is it going to sully our entire group's reputation? Well, it depends on who you talk to. If you talk to the elves, you'd be selling the group's reputation. Oh, so exactly. you're an elf as well, somewhere, aren't you? She is. I'm an elf, yeah, and you're selling my reputation, buddy. Well, so well, you I, I said if you talk to the job. elves, not necessarily Nuri, but... I was just saying, is yeah. Nuri like elf with elf-like traditions? Does she actually care no, about really. even one that saved her life? Or she's like no, not elf, really. She's not an elf. She's a stats elf, so... otherwise human. Ma Marit no, uh, just Marava, stand. you no, close over the hole. Yeah. What are the rest yep, of you and, doing? Yeah. Uh, I'll close over the hole with branches and then pile dirt on top. I'm helping Marava. Yeah, it the it is a pretty big hole. I'm going to go. The branches I'm going to go. Gonna be anything really. You're gonna uh, okay. I'm going to go fetch camel. Right. Well, camel's pretty much where nah. you left him. He's nibbling on right. some on, on some bush. Yo, know, hitch him back up to the cart. And mm -hmm. bring the cart over to load the girl on, mm -hmm. and say, you know, by that time, hopefully they've covered up the hole. 
then we should backtrack out. Okay. Okay, radio. So, Klim and Maravar get enough branches. Yes, there is some smoke coming through it, but it's not um, as obvious as before. Um, and, of course, because the smoke has to go like through the trees, honey. it is a little tiny bit dispersed. So it's not as obvious. Can we as well just, like, set a fire pit that will cause a lot of smoke just off the beaten trail somewhere nearby? And possibly burn down the forest? No. I set a fire pit, like a safe fire pit. Mm, somewhere okay. on the way home, maybe a hub <laughs> where we are. Okay. Just we remember one thing, a guys. Nice fire you should be successful, but you still have a druid travelling with you. Yeah, we can't sit okay. forest fires slash Zafana fire. No, not, not a forest fire, but can, can we, no. Maravar, maybe take... Scouts? No. Go, go. Maravar, <laughs> says no. We... <laughs> Maravar, we are not we leaving maybe... a fire unattended anywhere. No, this not... is already bad enough. It's not no, likely no. to burn, no, but... Least, <laughs> no, it to the no, if we take some bran... Are we allowed to take some branches and maybe 30 minutes from where we are, dig a fire pit, and and burn them. You uh, know, are you going to the stay there until bit? the fire burns out and then bury the fire uh, the remains? <sighs> the other thing, of course, yeah. is uh, half an hour out. Whose property are you on? That's yeah, true. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, let's just let's just roll with it. We we depending I, on I how vote, dry it is. I, I think and I I turn into full boss bitch mode and I vote that we cover the entrance in massive amounts of branches um we pile dirt on it hard well, as what happens if i cast steve been... what happens if i cast entangle on the entrance then eventually it will when... slowly do uh... they degrade or do they just fall down into um it's there for a turn and then after that it starts to fall to bits yeah but does it pile up or does it if Boss it's holding mode. anything up, it will eventually droop and fall. Yeah. Boss switch mode. Yeah. Ooh, so droop and fall. So, the thing is, oh, Maravar has tried end. putting dirt on it, he's put the branches that he can see are dead, he's covered as best he can. If you start to rip down anything else, you might have to answer to the druid. No, everyone's helping. Okay, the druid, the druid is Maravar, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, so Maravar, can we please take more greenery to stuff no. on this thing and cover it with dirt? You can't Why do you want to kill something? Dirt falls through. It's not a little three by three hole. You're talking about yeah, no, corridor. that's what I mean. I want to, I want to pack it so full of dirt that it's just you, you know. You mean you want to bury the tunnel that goes down for about fifty feet? Yeah, well, we'd not bury it, but you know, we could get back at it later, like. No, All right, fine, that's, whatever. That's a whatever. We are quite fine. Really I'm letting it go. Yeah. I'm letting it go. I'm rolling yeah. down to Please, please fine, remember that the hole camel. that gets you down there is 20 feet in diameter. Yeah. Hey, can you at least, if you want this problem to be a hypothetical henchman, can you at least ask him to hide near the entrance and keep guard? And then he can tell us if people are down there when we come back. Huh? Take him back. We'll come back in the morning to retrieve stuff when we've healed up and got spells. Well, you want me to leave him here in the middle of fucking nowhere? He he will get it. His home. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I want him to be useful. I feel like your alignment either, just either, either way, I am just gonna, like, you know, crack the, the, the reins and start moving Camel off towards town. Okay. Yes, <laughs> okay, we come... I gingerly load Madame, what's her name? Remember, Anna. she's the one that's worth Anna. money anyway. <laughs> yeah, onto the onto the back of the mm -hmm. um, cart. the cart, along with Orson, of course. And I oh, myself I'm driving it. So <laughs> yeah, I myself take up a space on the cart as I'm low HP, and um, yeah. I sit and I just 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 talk to Lester on my way there. And we, is we just he discuss walking things. behind the cart, or is he on the cart with you? No, he's on the cart sitting next to okay. me. Okay. Um, at which point, I'll move Anna, yo, know, sort of more up in front with me, if possible. Like, mm -hmm. she's probably a bit scared that there's a goblin with us. Yeah, do yeah. as you wish. 
I'm just gonna sit on the opposite end of the car, not really caring, but <clears throat> don't worry about with those folks. It's kind of harmless. Kind Except of. Except for when kidnapping kind and murdering. Of. Okay. Yeah, so... kind of. You're harmless until you're kidnapping and murdering too. Right. So, um, Lister really can't tell you an awful lot, but he can can tell you um, that um, their their hidey hole. He, he understands a little bit. Rutmut doesn't think Lester listens well, but Le Le Lester listens. And he knows that there are several in this underground river, there are several little hideouts, um, and each one holds different Denzians. Um, ah, so I this see. is only one of many that good. follow the underground river. I okay, see, okay, so okay, the okay. underground river connects many underground strongholds with different denizens in them. Possibly, yes. Interesting. He doesn't well, really I'm know talk much about that, them. Or... Sorry? I'm talking to him in Goblin, so... Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, we'll just keep this to ourselves for now. Mm -hmm. And I'm just and trying to build up a rapport with about. him. Sorry, Will? He doesn't know what languages we all speak, right? No. But that's right, speaking in Goblin. Go I do have to go through with you later, Steve. Because so, mm -hmm. I've got quite a high intelligence. I think I get more than one language right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh-huh. Right, so... Anyway, the rest of the I'm just building is... a rapport, rapport yeah. with him yep. and talking to him more about, you know, if he's going to live past the day, he's going to have to pledge his allegiance to me. And... um He's going to have to do exactly as I say and etc, etc. You know, just not trying to hold up the party, just saying that's what I'm doing with him. I'm schooling him on what it goblin. is. What it is. No, I'm just schooling him on what it is to be a henchman. Mm -hmm. What it is to, you know, remain alive. I'll provide him food, but he he has a duty to fulfill. And if he doesn't, that's it. <laughs> Well, he says it's, um, in his own little way, he says, well, it's no worse, no better than what I had with Rutgut, but it, you seem to be a bit more gentler with your fist. Well, I haven't hit you yet. We'll see how gentle it goes, but, you know, mm -hmm. you do what you do what you need to do and there won't be any fists. Let's just call, call it like that, you know. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sure you can provide you town, some You get to Eriwo. Um, take you all there. Uh, home. Blue skies, green fields. Safety of civilization. Eriwo. Yeah. Yay. Um, Roll up uh, <coughs> so you, the uh, the sheriff's office first. Yep. Okay. So he's great. To, he's very happy to see Anna. Um, and I'll have to uh, scroll up. She probably she probably knows him if the other yep. two were close friends. Yeah. 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 So Neri strolls up. Yep. Having been the one who made the deal in the first place, mm -hmm. this time he brings Lucky along instead of who was it, Maravar, with the higher charisma, who just sat there smoking a pipe the entire time. Mm -hmm. No, I never lit up the pipe because he didn't seem that interested in it. Right. No, you lit ask. it up. You were you were smoking the pipe fairly savagely, if I recall. Taking huge tokes. Right. And yes. Uh, but I would not in someone else's own office because it's highly rude to do that if they don't want the smoke themselves. Oh my he god! You so off, did that though. He offered it and then asked whether or not he would mind, and since he said yes and yes, he didn't. Okay, if if you okay, all right. I trust your memory. All right. Lucky comes in. We negotiate the rest of the money, mm -hmm. which was, I believe, uh, what was it? It was three hundred gold mm -hmm. for the return Not of silver, which is the equivalent of gold in this game. Okay, which is the, yeah, which is the equivalent yeah. of gold, three hundred silver. Yep. So yep. Are we going to negotiate danger pay because of the unusually high amount of creatures? Well, <laughs> the the this constable sheriff says, 
You look vaguely familiar, I'm not sure why, but you weren't with the group when I initiated the agreement, so and you'll have to talk that out with your group leader. However, I will stand by the agreement, and he talks to Nuri, of the 300 silver pieces for the safe return of Anna. You have done this. Um, yes, if you could tell and we me have also... How you've done it, then... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what of yep. Rutgut? Rut, Rutmut, sorry. Rutmut, mm -hmm. so you know of Rutmut. Okay, firstly, I will say well, that... I believe he's this... a tall, rather imposing orc. Orc fear, well, since yes. Since you've been gone, yes. we have talked to other people and they've given us a bit of a description of the group. Some goblins. Okay. I think someone even said there might have been a bugbear. Bug <laughs> the bugbear is dead. Oh. As is Rutmut. Oh. Well, um, if you've so got proof, I can on smoke pay and you this... a further 300, gold, uh, 300 silver pieces if you've got proof of his death. Proof will be coming. Okay, mm -hmm. firstly, we thought it was best to return the lady <laughs> as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And and another thing, uh, this man here, who you may or may or not recognize, um, we rescued during our efforts to find the lady, and he has joined our party. Awesome. Um, I'm not sure why you recognize him, although I have He's, some He has a familiar again, face, but... I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's... I frequent the local, the local dice halls and drinking establishments, I say. Yeah, I'm not sure that's why he has a familiar... But yeah, anyway, moving right along. Um, we thought it was best to bring the lady back here as soon as possible. A wise move. Um, a wise move indeed, I think you will agree. Um, we will return <laughs> cough heavily. to the site to retrieve evidence that Rutmud is dead. Mm -hmm. um, we also have further evidence of perhaps more strongholds. Um, more yes, more strongholds with uh, p perhaps different denizens. And we're going to have to, well, of course, with your permission and with your payment, uh, ex uh, explore these yeah. strongholds because they run along an underground river. Well, he says, and... uh, what you do as a group of adventurers, he can't fund, but if any of said denizens are impacting on the town itself, he may be able to find some recompense for your work. Okay, so you, you expect us to wait until the denizens are harassing the town before neutralizing well, says, the threat? You, you tell me how to get money out of a politician for a problem that doesn't exist just yet. And then oh, we'll so both have an answer system, how you get the money. Friend. This is, this okay. is justice. Yeah. <laughs> he says, well, well, thank you for your work. Um, you're welcome to pick up any other work that I may have. Uh, it seems that you get results on that. I thank you. But I can't promise any yep. further work unless something else happens. All right. Well, the 300 silver, sir. He gives and... you that straight away. Counts it out in front yep. of you and gives it to you. Well, it would thank only be you. 250. I was going to say, didn't we get some of the uh, funds? God. You guys are all out of here. Yep. You guys, no <laughs> one is in the room right now. That's okay. Uh, so counts it, as, I, as I said, he, that doesn't, they didn't need to tell me that. Yep. Because yep. he counts out the 300. And as you think, he says, oh, hang on. I did give you some advance, so we'll take that oh, back. For f you had to say it, didn't you? I you guys just had to it, say it. Lady. Come on. Would you rather screw over the, com the, the yeah, head officer of a town? <laughs> It was Lucky an innocent yes, in mistake. Experience it was you guys an mistake. Do. Honestly, it was an innocent mistake. Would have right. been an innocent so mistake. You, okay. You leave and the here, room with your 200. So he counts out the 300, and I say, Oh, sorry, sir. You gave yes. us 50 before, yes, and I, I returned 50 right. in a graceful manner. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I nod to him, say, A deal well done. Um,. Perhaps we will take it upon ourselves to explore and do surveillance on these supposed extra dungeons where other denizens lie. Mm -hmm. And if we can prove there's a threat to the local area, will you then? I will you definitely know? then take 
take this considered threat to the mayor and the town's council and ask them what what the value of that information is to them and pass that on to you if you can do something about it. All right. Well, we... Yes, we definitely hold first. If, if anything comes up, I, I ask you contact us first. And where will you be? Uh, where do we stay? Sorry, the, this the is out of game. The, the one that's the mermaid and the... Mermaid Wheat Chief or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's the one that's got the combination of the ocean and the farmers together. Mermaid yeah. and the Wheat or something. Wheat, I the Mermaid and the Wheat Chief at the moment. Until right. we find a more stable situation. Yep. Right, he says. Um, yep. As you go out, he thanks you again. Um, he mm -hmm. looks a little bit leery as lucky as though he's, what am I, th he's thinking about something, but he's not quite sure what, why he can't put his finger on something. Um, yeah. Well, but anyway, <laughs> um, he, you go. Uh, you head mm. off to the inn. Um, at some stage, you guys will get together, and will you be emptying the pouch? Oh, I will be emptying the pouch. I will also be reminding everybody that we are returning to the the place that mm -hmm. we just were immediately. Okay. Uh, so, as soon as everybody has gained any sense of their health back, we're going back there to check the right. treasure room. Okay, so and make group... sure Rutgut is dead because Rutgut is worth what was it, three hundred silver? Three hundred silver pieces. Three hundred silver. The problem is, is when the body is charred beyond belief. Exactly. Well, come, come to that when you get to it. We'll find a way to prove um, it. In might, the might be a corpse, etc. Yeah, in the we may need to bring um, back the entire burnt corpse on that one. We nice. can do that. It's all good. But everybody rest up, get healed, because we're going back there straight away. Yeah. Um, so you're divvying out everybody's coin, are you? 50 each? Yeah, I'm divvying out everybody's coin from the... Uh, oh, 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 of the... of the Yeah. Well, it was minus 250, thanks to <clears throat> some people out no, of no, game. No, 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 no. Um, so yeah, but out of, two, out 250 of game, divided awesome. by... Yeah. Hang on. Orson, how much money has the group gained out of the dungeon? Uh, from the dungeon, we have gained a whopping... 7 silver and 75 coppers. Okay, so the 75 coppers doesn't count, unfor Oh, hang on. 75 coppers... 7 uh, silver equivalent. Yep, so that's 14, so you get 14 XP, we have to split that through the group. Um, and in the purse itself, you find an additional 65 silver pieces. Because I've got to work this out for your XP. That's got to be split amongst the group. So and a platinum ring. Plus 75 plus 7. Oh, we've got 79 and a platinum at the moment. Ring. Yeah, and a platinum ring, which has a blue quartz set in the uh, stone, a blue quartz stone set in it. Um, Alright, well. I will flick that on my finger and show it to the group and say, we'll sell this soon. No, never the mind. Rodeo. So the worth of that is that much. Oh, if so we can sell it right for... now. No, 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 no. It's because anything that you bring out of a dungeon, the money you, mm. you would get for it. So I know how much you're going to get. Um, it's you get that as equivalent as XP. So yeah, there are one, two, three, four, five, five characters. <coughs> Excuse me. This has nothing to do with the monsters ring. This is just <coughs> gold piece value. Experience points, sorry. Um, what was I doing there? Oh, that's right. And that makes almost that. Okay, so everyone gets 28 XP from the gold piece value. XP value. So everyone gets 28 XP. Um, the, uh, so it doesn't include the money we got paid. The money you got paid doesn't come from the dungeon. It comes from the. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So it's not XP yep. value. It's only money. Oh. Money value. Oh, so the how much pouch out, that we got out of um, Ratmut's room, right? I see. Yeah, because that was the yep. group getting it out. So 
when you go back and whatever you get out of the treasure room, same thing happens again. But this is just what you've got so far. Um, yeah. Now Bongo, uh, he's different. So wait, how much was that? Sorry, the I just I everyone gets that. 28, 28 XP. 28. You still have um, the money, so you've got another 65 plus. You've got another 79 there, plus the ring, whatever that equals to, which I'll tell you later on. 79 silver pieces? Yep, so that needs to be put into the group somehow. Yeah, I'm just and... recording down. One. Wait, is this an XP? No. Okay, this is, this is in money, yeah. This is me putting I came down up the group. To, I came up to 332 silver in oh. money, minus the ring, Yep. when I was just counting then. Okay, well, so you three hundred thirty-two your own silver. finances. Yeah, it was 332 silver minus the ring is uh, to Orson. Orson, yeah, you are counting this, correct? Yes, I'm our banker. Yeah, all right. So 332 Ooh. minus the ring. Okay. 35, 150. Now, there are only four of you when you encountered um, Bungo, because Lucky hadn't been there yet. And there were mm -hmm. four of you with the wolf, because you got the experience points for the two goblins that you destroyed um, by the treasure room. Or yes. Whatever, wherever it was. Yes, we did. Um, yes, we did. So that wolf was worth. Uh, three, three. Right. So it's three hundred and thirty-six silver gained out of the dungeon. 75 mm, copper, yeah. and so, the platinum ring. Um, well, yeah, so, that's including... <laughs> um, Klim, Orson, Maravar, and Niri, yep. you get another 51 XP. Oh, I see. Um, and then this next lot, because that's after Lucky's joined you, um... So that's yep. two goblins, um, three orcs, although the other one is special. Uh, here he is. Alright, three so orcs. Yeah. Three orcs, no. that makes... Mm, no, I'm just doing it That myself. means what's his name did die. Three orcs. Yep. Well, that's oh, what yeah. we're claiming. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to leave 36 silver in the Hello. group fund. Along with yep. the copper pieces, that gives Who said every no? member of the group sixty um, silver if we're splitting it evenly. Or okay. Like that. I feel like I I, I need to look at the um, the tables, but I implore thou all that me being the only fighter, I need help getting armor if it is going to be too expensive. But I think I'll be fine on that amount. Well, how much have you got currently? Talk to the group about the group fund later. But... <laughs> well, you're going to have money for yourself, and you're going to have money if you want to to put into a group fund, which is always a good idea to fund. Yeah, group YouTube. fund's a good idea. Um, and that usually tends to go for like rations and adventuring equipment, not personal gear. That should always be oil. Your own stuff. You know, the things that we just burnt to kill. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, the hell's got there we go oh, so like i say if, if we leave 36 silver and 75 copper in the group fund that gives every group member 60 silver i also think uh yeah 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 uh, everyone gets 60 silver and you leave that amount in the fund sounds good i feel like maybe we should up uh, we should spend some of the money in the group fund on some more 1 HP potions. I believe someone had a okay. good repertoire yeah. with the church. Everyone. Uh, that'd be very helpful. Everyone gets another 48 XP for the rest of the creatures. And okay. then everyone gets another 75 XP for reaching the story point. Hey, so that's your total 75. XP. Anyone else got the 10% bonus? If you have no, 10%, no that's should. fine. I well, do. Um, I think does Dex give fighter 10 Is it 15 bonus? or no, more that you get the 10%? I thought it was 16. It's 15 in the book. 
Oh, well, then I get one too. Um, 158. You just said 75, yeah. right, from each in the story point? Yep. Everyone yeah. gets yep. 75. The, the 10% thief right. is. is so, lucky. Did you just yeah, say 25 more, yeah. Steve? 75 more experience points for the story point that everyone got. How much so was it for, the the two, for just the two goblins? Because that was an added. Um, no, for so for Bongo, and I haven't done the wolves yet. So for Bongo. No, 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 sorry. Got the two goblins from last week. That was 11. Yep. Um, I've done all those, and oh. you, you get for all the other things that you've killed in there, except for the wolves. 48 XP each, and that's including Lucky. Lucky, you've got 48 question, plus the 75. The, and then I'm going to do the sleeping wolves. orc that I did by myself, does that still put in the group? Curiosity, not trying to angle for extra. Uh, it's, well, it's part of the group thing. Oh, of yeah. course it's part of the group. What the hell? We had this discussion I don't know, a few because weeks ago about... in some games <laughs> I've played, <laughs> if a fighter has called out a single person and they overcome the thing they get to have the complete XP. Um, oh, if they've called him out and yeah. it's been a one-on-one, -on -one, officially yeah. a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, yeah. Not in this game, but... This was this more of a group yeah. effort, mate. It was like, a, all right, we're going to check this door. We're going to sneak it open. It's a different game. Even the fighters yep. can't call people out in this game. Yeah, all right. So, two wolves here. So it by five. Poosh is another 16 XP each for the wolves. Okay. So, um, I hope everyone's taking track of all that. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the group has got the 250 from the, re, um, from the um, recovering the girl plus the gold, sorry, the silver that you got from the actual place. Don't forget you've got that ring with the blue quartz stone in it. Um, yep. Lucky, you've got that really crappy looking dagger. Um, <laughs> and I don't think anybody else managed to get anything else. Either you were too busy or you were trying to get out with your lives uh, intact. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Alright, sorry, so, how much silver was it each that we grabbed? Sorry, okay, okay, my memory is just terrible. flat. 60 flat silver is right. what we gave to every member of the party yeah exactly. and now we've and then we've got Lester, the group who you are taking care of because he's your henchman and you've got to pay uh, him out of yeah. your own money you don't pay it out of the group fund if you've got a henchman yeah so, no the, yeah, yeah the henchman's fine yeah. so I'll henchman pay rules him, yeah. is you pay for their food and board you pay for their equipment um they get yeah. usually they get um one tenth of your XP whatever you as long as they survive and um, so he'll start gathering XP um, so whatever XP you got today you need to total that up take one tenth and put it on his sheet and when he gets to what your levels would be level up I'll be doing something for him okay all right well we'll have to make a sheet for him soon or something then yeah, yeah. yeah. if he survives long yeah. enough I well, mean you yeah. know He's a goblin, he kind of shits me, but he's he's a good bloke, you know. He's, well, he's, he's got the same it. probability Sorry, of hit points, actually a bit more <laughs> than your magic user. Um, yeah. So, overnight, yeah. no one has to worry, so you all get back one hit point. Sorry. And I am on two, and new, Sorry, new, new spells for everyone. Sorry, um, overnight, before I went oh. to sleep, uh, I was hoping to meet with like a whatever my local a local thief's contact. So you'll be um, scout, scoping out the place. Am I not from this town at all? Do you want to be? Mm -hmm. Is it a decent town? <laughs> Sorry, I want all, to just jump Do you in. want to be from this town or not? I'll be. Oh, of course, no. Of course, traveling. I like to scope out somewhere. Okay, so you'll be looking for the local guild to make sure you make the appropriate payments so they don't try to cut off your hands when you bust in yep. on their wood. Can I take or, a quick Also, I need to buy some tools. Right. Ron, you were going to say something? I'll charge my wand. Good man. Okay, boom, you got, you've got two charges in there now. <laughs> It can come in very useful. Awesome. Yeah, Andy, you wanted to do... I'm going to go pay my tithe. 
Right, 10% uh, the church. of whatever money you got. And then I'm only going to actually keep 20 silver out of the thing myself. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to return, you know, the amount, other amount to thing as just a good deal. Oh, I don't worry, so I Okay, cool. Um, yes. So, hopefully the, uh, the captain of the guard, you know, understands why, sort of, I'm delivering it back single, so to speak. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And, and you know, tell the I... sheriff that it was a great honor to be of use to you know the uh, the area mm -hmm. in helping rescue his daughter, and hopefully she's uh, not too traumatized. Well, he thanks you for your help and support and all that da -da 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 stuff. That's all cool. Yeah. Oh. Um, and lucky, yes, we find the content. Buy finally a proper set of tools. Yes, uh, I've, um, am I allowed to negotiate? Does that go badly in this game? Um, it's what price is in the book. Yeah, so 30 silver, yep. right? Yep. Yep. When you move into these small towns, there's very little room for negotiation around some things because it's much more scarcer. Yeah, yeah definitely did not want to be here. <laughs> yeah, yep. that's cool. Um, so... And, uh, what about the payment of my not yep. getting my things Your cut professional... Off? professional fees shall we say um, yes. if you operate within the town uh, yep. itself if you're going to be coming a second story man or a pickpocket or anything like that um, the person expects that you tithe 10% of your gainings to it um, they have a rule here um, that you don't do anything super stupid and like take out pick on the mirror and take out the most expensive stuff um, yep. Keep your head a bit low. Get enough for what you need, but don't be too showy or fancy about it. That way, <laughs> under the radar. Uh, if you do something outside, outside of the town and expect to the town or the the their particular guild to give you protection, based on what it is, they may require more money for that protection, or they may decide to decline your your request. Yep. And uh, just as a friendly end note, I was hoping to get the hot tip off as a good tailor in town. Mm-hmm. <coughs> several. <coughs> we can see where all your no money's going to go. Well, you can pick, <laughs> you pick what you want and pay for it. Um, yep. Spells for the day, and if anyone's using spells before the day starts. <laughs> or if people are spending uh, Neri... money on buying um, potions. Neri is first off moaning in her bed at Orson to say please come heal me but she's also um when I'm as, she's... Wound... Oh, no, as wounded as you yeah yeah well um, she's still moaning but okay, she's she's hobbling take... around the markets before that looking at armor mm -hmm. and she's thinking geez i yeah, really I'm need to... better armor i'm gonna take three cure lights today i'm gonna use one on myself no nary taking my sweet time to get the uh the max value Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So you both healed eight hit points. How many spells? I've got uh, three learnt spells, but how many can puts, I have? Yep. One, one a day, um, Ron. Oh, yeah. to, well, depending on your level. Oh, yeah. um, day, has yeah. anyone got enough experience points to go up a level yet? Nope. What is no level two? Two thousand, roughly. No, no, no. no, 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 no we're not using those. Uh, we're using. Uh, the are we using? Uh, different edition. Ah. Yeah. Yep. So what, what are the values on that? Three hundred well, was uh, the thing. Just looking at and up. if everybody's getting well, a ten, three hundred, we should well, be I'm sitting close. at one eight nine. Hey. For those of us that showed up for, if you've got a ten percent bonus, because I do. I uh, I was at, I'm at two hundred and thirty. I'm at two seventy. After calculating all the all of that. What is the you using? Uh, give me a second, I'll see if... No, I've wiped them. <laughs> I'm at 184 with 10% from today, without including the shit you guys got, so whatever you have should be a bit higher than 184. Mm. I'm 270, I think. Mm -hmm. So for the first session, we got 20. Mm -hmm. For the second session, where we sat outside and waited because Neri was, like, not here for that one, you gave us 11. Mm -hmm. 
I think it was. Okay, so I, I, I thought the uh, eleven was for the goblins. Uh, uh, it probably wouldn't have been because each goblin's worth ten base, and then yeah. you have oh, okay. hit points and stuff. And we murdered three of them, so mm -hmm. three divided by four is eight. <laughs> Let's just say we're all damn close. Mm. You can almost taste it. Mm. That's what I'm saying. I'm just wondering how you guys got that. Mm. So spell-wise, um, Klim, what are you thinking of taking today? I think I'm going to stick with my... Shopping grass. Okay. Awesome, you've used two of your cures, you got, and your third one's just one another left. cure light. Okay. Yeah, yep, for today. Yep, Marivar? Oh, I have Animal Friend, Two Entangles, and a Fairy Fire. Okay. Alright. I am going to approach the group one on one and ask for a loan. <laughs> wow, that's entirely up so, to each actually, member. Actually, we could sell... How much would the Platinum Ring be worth if we sold it? Who knows? Who knows? Um, well, I'm going to offer up the Platinum Ring for sale, but I'm going to say, obviously, I am really hoping to get better armoured because it seems like I'm the front line in every battle. And I'm going to get cut down if I'm continuing to wear studded leather. So I'm looking to get either... Uh, sorry, what are the difference between chain and banded? Weight. Chain mail is... What, yeah, I was about to say chain mail is the better of the two for weight. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, you'll, but uh, you'll do you get, get a plus one yeah, for banded? You, you will get um, 60 silver pieces for the ring. Which is 60 all silver pieces yeah. for the... Sorry. For the ring. Okay, okay. So split between five of us, that's, yeah, about two. So that puts me up to 60, 62 or so. Um, I still don't have enough to get chain. But, okay, of cha chain and banded, do they give the same armor value? Well, it's in the players. Banded, I think, gives a four. And chain gives a... Five. Okay. But banded so I'm puts still... you into the heavy category. Very heavy, but you yeah. still get, but you still get your bonus from your dexterity, yeah, right? But you mm -hmm. just move only thirty feet around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, we can deal Fucking with that. Slow. I'll and sit that, on the, I'll sit on the cart. Not when yeah, you're in a dungeon we'll right. trying to run away for something very big. You'll be yeah. moving. <laughs> you will no longer be the front line. You will be the rear guard. Yep. And by rear yeah, guard, okay. you'll be the one that just gets run up. Well, I mean, if we're running from something, I really should be the rear guard because, you know, I'm the mm -hmm. fighter. Like, okay, so chain, how much bonus is a chain over so studded band leather? Banded, so, sorry, just before we go, banded is 9 inch movement rate base. Oh, it's 9. It weighs oh. 35 pounds or 350 pounds. What am I thinking? Weight. Oh, fuck, I'm thinking of splint. No, 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 splint, splint's um, 6. You're thinking full field plate. No, plates. no, I was thinking I, I was thinking Splint is an armor class 4, Bandit is an armor class 6. Right. So yeah, fuck. Think... No, fuck. The chain is same armor as class. Chain. They're both the same. Oh, they're the same armor class, so might as well get chain. Yeah. Okay, and compared to studded leather, they are... What's studded leather armor class? Seven. Seven, six, five, four. So I'd be gaining three armor class by upgrading to chain. Two. Two armor class by upgrading to chain. Two. They're okay, well, I s All right, I still feel like that needs to be done because. How much? How much? Yeah, it's, it's 75. 75. 75 silver. I have 60. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll, you I'll, I'll, tell you what. I'll lend you the money. Yep. I'll lend you the money. But you've got to you've got to engrave Klim on your shoulder flashes. Uh, okay, they're fine. Be on a chain shirt. <laughs> yeah, well, they're gonna be barely seen on a chain shirt. <laughs> yep, so sure. yeah, fan. <laughs> He'll we'll do, do it. <laughs> and then when he finds can't... out that there aren't any on there, well, you can't engrave what's not there. Yeah, 
She's done. She's dealed. All right. Um, I still have a henchman to outfit. Um, I will, once we sell this ring, I will use the, what, 12 silver to buy my henchman, maybe a dagger, a, uh, yeah. a spear. The yeah, something, something <laughs> like that. Maybe, maybe some really cheap, you know, padded uh, leather armor, something oh, like yeah. that. Wearing his armor, we didn't strip them. Fucking oh yeah, naked. we didn't strip it. But what armor did he have? Leather. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, he much, had leather. How much did I well, lose? He had you? leather already. Oh, well, that's alright. Well, I'm, just... I'm not um, walking around with a naked goblin. Yeah, I don't know how uh, much you loaned her on. Um, the difference, I think, between sixty and. How much did I loan was... you, Neri? Which would be yeah, how much did you loan me, Ron? Just so he can put this down on paper. I'll pay you back with interest once we get back into that place and get some treasure out. Not gonna be difficult. <laughs> How might that be difficult? No, not gonna be difficult getting more treasure. So, I think Ron, there's a be cost there you go. Yeah. worth 300 silver pieces. Oh. So at least 15, yeah, that would just Lone give me enough to buy the, the, the chain mail. Uh, we're gonna call uh, it. Uh, Let's say it was. Let's say it was twenty. Nice round number. Mm. Twenty. All right. I like your style. I like your style. All right. Eighty. That gives me enough money to maybe buy a uh, dagger and a spear for my henchman. Yeah. All right. Just about, Andy. Just about calling it. Yeah. Um. So. Anybody else want to buy anything while you're in town? Uh, I'll probably. I'll do the one. buying at the start of next session. But yeah. Well, we do that. That'll be easier, I guess. Right. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I'll make well. sure that camel's been taken care of and fed and. Mm -hmm. Cool. Stay, oh, good uh, man. Even though it was only good a man. day trip, guys, or two days, yeah. don't forget you still need to ensure that you've got all your rations. So, yep. if you've used some, cross it off. If you're going to buy new stuff, add it to your list. Um, yep. Right. Six days. Okay, well, I will turn off the recording. Oil, flasks. Oh, there, I need to replace those.